Yo, what's going on, boys and girls? We are here. Some more out of order. Yes, I am late today. Yes, I've been highly distracted with many different things today. I just could not get on in my normal start time. So, yes, I am late. So, that kind of puts the to a eight hour work day in the game. So, yeah, that's what's going on. So, yes, I was just being pulled in 400 different directions this morning when I got up. It was it was a lot. It's a lot. But anyways, we're here. We're here. I didn't forget about you guys. Just had a lot to do. Make sure you guys come to chat. Make sure you guys say what's up, dudes. And we'll get this rolling here. We got Bag. We got Connor. We got Peter. We got Shadow. Your Oxen. Seer. Connor. Ken. Cowboy. Tom Man. What's up, dude? What's up, guys? Welcome, welcome. You can't be wet here. Damn. That's what she said. <laughs> nice and dry here. Pulling the barbecue out. That is what I planned this weekend later on yeah we gonna fire you dude yeah no dude no just you know holy cow anyways plan for the day is i'm gonna be working down in the cut like the title says the description as well as chat what's up guys why is twitch already trying to send you guys to an ad stop it they don't i mean can we get the intro for the stream down here twitch come on dudes damn anyways what's up rg nation what's up dax defiant what's up guys welcome welcome try to catch you guys as you guys come in but we need to fire up the smelters first thing off the bat and start getting this rolling today. Try to get at least a few smelting sessions in. Got camera lock. Gotta make sure I write that down for uh, the next update. Hopefully we get that in. Up, hammers. How you doing today, buddy? Yeah, I was all over the place, man. I got 400 things pulling me in 400 different directions. So I'm like trying to nail them all off. And by the time I'm done, three hours has gone by and I'm like, man, Holy cow, right? At least I got my coffee in today. Got some got some breakfast in and feeling good mentally. Gonna be going to finish out the rest of this week strong and and uh yeah. Continue to keep rolling on, dudes. Keep moving it, moving it, moving it. I can actually finally kick back, sit back, relax, and uh play some big games right now. Hopefully you guys are all having a great week. How are the two fuzzy kids doing? They are they're doing all right. The older one's being a pain in the ass. And then the younger one, she's just, uh, she changes every month, man. Also a pain in the ass, but still love, lovey and cute. cute. She's, she's just uh, trying to find her little part in our world, right? But she's doing well. Did you have a split? Yeah, pretty much. It does definitely happen. Right, let's fill this up. Let's go over to the wash plants. Fill those up as well, too. Sorry for the uh, loud subway noises. No more King Kong antics. No, they kind of stopped. Dopey, Dopey is the gatekeeper with the squirt bottle right now. So she hits them before they even come into the office. Kind of like a, hey, get your brain off of the window type of situation. And it seems to have help, helped quite a bit. They stop at her desk and they just harass her for love. And they don't try to go rip down my curtains and King Kong off my monitors and stuff like that so that's that's good we don't have that going on right now so all right we'll do uh we'll do an inventory check after i get all this going on here see where we're at we're still smashing tons of money in uh and getting and get some work done so i just want to get this all set up here before where all my pater go okay let's grab some more that means we're going through this stuff real quick oh we are i'm oh, going through this stuff really fast that means you know what i gotta do today I'm going to resupply that today. I need to resupply. Pater, that means we're going to get a lot more progress done today. Woo! <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, that needs to be filled up. Oh, that's good. Okay. That means that I can set up a, a box again, and I don't have to run up the hill all day today. Which I don't mind, but it's uh, it slows the progress down quite a bit. Let's get these all filled up here, then I'll assess the situation. My inspector Bob Ross stopped by today. Yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to find some time to spend that eight hundred thousand into water blocks and get my downstream put in. But there's a lot of things that are going to factor off of that downstream. If I get it wrong, then I'm hooped. <laughs> Then it's all gotta be ripped back up and put back in. So 
Okay. Anthony says, yeah, I finally got the DLC today. Can't wait to start making my own. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. Okay. So let's make it not so gloomy in here today. Bring our weather behind back a little bit. Let's just go to a clear sky. Beautiful. I like it. Looks good to me. Okay, so they're all, those are all smelting. And let's take a look at our inventory here today. Ooh, 666. Ooh, let's get that number changed right away. We got some gold bars. We got blasted rock. We got some more pay dirt to feed the plants. We will run out of pay dirt in the next day or so. So we have to refill that. So I'm at 4,700 gold ore here in my hand. And Bob Ross is, is a busy guy today, <laughs> right? It's always about those simple things to make things look a lot better or work a lot better. Okay. Let's go down inside the uh, thing. Let's check what I actually mined yesterday. All this dirt. We'll just go ahead and sell all that here in a second. We got 1600 silicon. Grab that out. We got, I got an absolute massive amount of ruby ore yesterday. That is insane. That's so crazy how much ruby ore I got. Decent amount of gold. I was I was a little over actually what I thought I was going to get projected. Didn't get very much diamond though. And this is all of our dirt we can just sell off. So let's get this stuff. Uh, we're bringing this over. All right. Oh, there's the rest of diamond ore. Never mind. I did get more diamond ore. It's hiding up in the corner. That's not bad. I was work last night, dude. Uh, it was all right. I got off a little. I got off a little earlier than I was expecting, so that was nice. So, like I said, I always love those days when you get off a little bit earlier than thinking. But it's really nice to be able to kind of come in and get a little extra sleep, you know. But unfortunately, I got up earlier, and I was just the good thing I did. I had a lot of stuff I had to take care of, so. I got a lot of stuff taken care of, so I shouldn't have to do anything like that for the rest of the week or anything like that, so. Too distracted. Oh, no, we don't want to sell pay dirt. That's not right. We want to sell dirt. And like I said, I, sh I could put this into a separate cell container and build it underground, and it just sells automatically. Going to keep the, uh, the immersion of the wash plant, but I kind of like holding it and selling it off manually so we can watch the money climb up. Don't want to sell anything else, just our dirt. Dirt, 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 any dirt anywhere. I mean, the dirt's a, a decent chunk of cash, right? So, we're looking here again. We got more because we are full on the inventory. I have a million dollars just in dirt. <laughs> no, it won't be a million in dirt. Okay. Get this all sourced out so I don't got to worry about it. Dirt. Get this cleaned up a little bit here. Get 13000 for something that's like, like a byproduct. It's not bad. Okay. Yeah, I sold Blastic Rock, rock on purpose because I don't want to waste the time to send it through my my lines. Yep. Yeah, Solid Rock and Blasted Rock, I I send in. I don't want to. I don't want to pump that back through my crap. Just a waste of time. Dirt. Dirt. Nope. That's pay dirt. Dirt. What's up, Welsh? How you doing, man? Yeah, that's all pay dirt. Okay. I think we are good to go now after that. Put me up to 549,000. Just in dirt. Ooh, lost your save last night due to a bad window update. At least I'm not in, at least I'm out of that hole. Bro, that's insane. Okay, let's go ahead and drop a save since we just did all that. All right. I want to do that again. Get 
the water in a little bit more than I was yesterday. Cause I was like, I was like not drinking any water and just talking this, talking a lot. It makes it to where like your throat dries out. And you're like, eh. <laughs> you gotta say something. You're just like, eh. <laughs> can't talk. Oh, okay. So where are, am I going to begin today? Let's go down and assess the mine site down here. This is all doing its thing for a little while in about an hour. You guys make sure you yell at me. So yeah, in about an hour. And like in one hour, just be like split, go load the furnaces. And I'll come back over here. All right, let's go and send these drones away because you know, the drones are a little wonk. So let's get those sent back. Let's go and hit drive because that's down here in the pit. That's the situation today. Ooh, why is that so? I thought I rolled all that. What the shit going on here, bro? But I need to do a barbecue. Nah, dude, I'm not bringing all my stuff out there to, to do that. And I'm not buying like super long USB cables and stuff. <laughs> not having it, dude. How did I rolled all this. What the hell is going on here? What the hell? Maybe I didn't roll this. Did I roll this at the end of last night? I thought I did. I already said no. Yeah. Plus, I'm not really doing anything this weekend for a barbecue. Our plants kind of fell through, so it's just me and Dopey just kind of hanging out. And I'm probably just going to cook a couple burgers and a couple hot dogs and, you know. What the hell? I thought I, I thought I flattened all this last night. Somebody else was saying yesterday that the, um, like when they logged back in, their save was all bumpy again, even though they flattened it and rolled it. I don't remember who that was. Somebody said that. I just don't remember if I did or not. You know what I mean? It must have didn't save. No, I definitely saved at the end of the night when I, I saved it right at the, uh, the end of stream. You guys watched me do it. I just don't remember if I flattened this. I probably didn't. More than likely, I did not. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, eh. Maybe. That's okay. We'll give it a little we'll give it a little roll here today and a little shimmy and see what happens. Okay, I'm thinking I'm gonna set my box up. I think I should set the box up. Let's see here. Where should I set this box up at? If I'm gonna mine and fill I need I need to restock pay dirt. Dude, it is just like potatoing. and the more this more the save gets going, dude, it keeps potatoing. I don't know if I'm I, I'm starting to wonder if it's the game or if it's the save. But a lot of you guys are saying you guys are having the same issue, so it leads me to believe that it's the game, but it's hard to tell because my save is so like insanity. You know what I mean? And it's hard for me to to judge that. You know what I mean? It's hard for it's hard for me to see. I'm gonna have to see if I can jump on one of my other saves and see if it's just as bad. Come on, let's get this rolling here. You guys are saying it's happening to you too, so that is the even the shovel doesn't want to decay properly. It's just weird. Hmm. Would start it? No, that wouldn't help our situation at all. Because then everything I've just did was for nothing. So that's no bueno. That's that's not happening. I mean, it was fine prior to the last two patches. But then again, I've also done an extreme amount of digging on this on the save in the last since the last two patches. Kevin. If I started over just because of this, I might as well just give up for a while and let the game just be updated and just wait. You know what I mean? Or just do a little tiny projects and that's it. Be done with them in two days. That's no fun. Okay. Now we slapped out some ground. I'm trying to figure out... What do you guys think? I, sh I, sh I definitely want to stay away from over here because I'm probably going to dig. Starting a new save folder wouldn't help. No, no, not a new save folder. No, that wouldn't, that wouldn't do anything. That's not it. 
mean, other people are reporting the same thing too, right? So I think I'm just getting a severe amount because of uh because of how much I've deformed in these this area. It's insane how much I've actually chunked out of here. So could be like I said, a lot of people have big minds too. They're saying the same thing. Um, let me see. Let me think here. I think I'm going to put it towards the entrance and work on zipping out that whole area first. So I'm probably going to build it right here where this is at, because this is the only spot that I really have that doesn't, that isn't going to be mined anymore, really. So I think if I move, yeah, something, something's definitely awry. It's not just my, my, my save. It's happening to a lot of people. A lot of people are saying the little white lines in the dirt are back. Um, if, if you haven't mined a lot, then you, the more you mine, the more you'll notice what I'm talking about and the render distance of the dirt being all weird and, and, uh, the bigger your mind side is just, you just start noticing it more, more and more and more and more and more. Okay. So if I put it in this little, this little thing here, right? Cause this, if I'm looking, if I'm looking at this, if I draw a line, I could, you know what? Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should just do some blocks right here. Just need a line of blocks here for a road. Yeah, there, there. The day, the game definitely needs to be. It, the game definitely needs to have a little bit of love, a little bit of love. They're they're pushing it real hard, right? And there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. I'm not saying that it's a negative thing at all. It's just a lot of things are being worked on and a lot of them we can't even see, right? So, and that's completely okay. Most of the time developers do things when they're working on stuff and they're changing, they're concepting stuff. You're not gonna see it for a long time, but it's still there. All right, there we go. So that's kind of where the road's going to be right there. So I need to make sure anything, anything within these wood blocks is going to get cut out. Here you go. Here's some Bob Rossum for you, buddies. <laughs> nah, that's completely fine, dude. Like I was saying, like I said, the last couple days, like, you know, it's a, it's not a big deal. Some people might get pissed off about it, but it's not a big deal. They need to chill out. Right, that's just how games are developed, right? We're lucky enough. Yeah, think of it this way. He, he he put it out. It's out, right? It's it's out. It's working, and we're able to play it. So it's like it's either that or nothing, really. And I know it's kind of like, oh well, this should be the case, but it generally is, right? It's no no BS, no whatever. You know, it, it's here. We're able to play it. He keeps it stable enough for us to continue to play. And uh, while they're continuing to work on and develop the game. So. Well, that is not the angle that I needed. Get rid of that. I'll just freehand that all in then. We'll get, let's move this dozer. And... So yeah, it's working. It's here. You know, there's some minor little things here and there. And uh, it's going forward, right? Project is moving forward. That is what it's important. We definitely can see the forward momentum of the, pro of the save or the uh, the game, right? And that's the good thing. All right, so that's the cut. Get this dozer up and out of the way. I'll just park it over here for right now. They got a lot of stuff to work on. It's exciting, exciting stuff. And the game will be changed massively every major patch. So. Now I need to set up a hopper box. I'm going to put one right here, I guess. Hopper. Let's rotate this here. Slow. Rotate this and let's go away from the wall a little bit. Right about here. And let's put in another container right there because I still got to mine that out. I'll give me a little bit of wiggle room. Don't need anything fancy. Just a backboard here for these things to work 
I hate that we can't snap to roofs. You know what I mean? But we can just do a free build. Don't need to look pretty. Right? <laughs> So the word was Delhar. Shit will fall in there. That's all that matters. <laughs> like when you're like, you know, you know what, dudes? Yeah, it'll fall in there. So lazy I don't even like putting corners in anymore. Oh, that's the only issue you can't do anymore since the free snapping. And you can't snap doesn't snap through corners anymore. That's the only downside to not having the free because the free build will let you snap in like this, but the snap mode needs to. So I need to make they need to change that. That's one thing that needs to it, it, it's quality of life, right? Like, so free build, we used to be able to snap, right? Now that we don't have snap and free build, snap build needs to be able to snap through other objects. So that way you can, you know, or you can just put a corner in like normal, right? So it kind of limits you a little bit in certain aspects, but that's just a slight oversight, right? That's okay, though. You could have to put in a corner, which I don't have. can't I could always just free put one in kind of like even I can even just put a rounded piece in here like this not give two shits <laughs> you know what I mean it doesn't matter as long as it's deflecting them who cares what it looks like Works for me. All right. Nothing special. All right, let's roll this out a little bit. Oh, you see nothing today. So what you guys all playing if you're not playing out of board today? What are you guys what are you guys rolling on? What are you guys working at? you guys all about all the wild i know doping those guys are playing the um our world update that just came out they're in discord playing and chilling i'm playing some battlefield 2042 Still grinding some ships. All right, let's park this over here. Terratech world. Okay, let's go ahead and spawn a drone today. Let's go and get. Let's get this going here, man. I'm, I'm like, 
this will help out quite a bit today now that i don't i'm not gonna be running up the hill most of the day i need to restock my uh my butthole bar okay let's see here boom let's stay along this wall face let's get a nice little shot of the dumping and digging and i'm gonna work this wall right here go to one Right, so that's what we're gonna be. I'm gonna be working in here today. So I'm gonna I'm gonna come in here and start chunking this back to this wall. I just kind of work my way this way. Should go pretty fast. This cut's gonna get dominated because I need more pay dirt. Okay. E close the inventory. I close. Enter. Good to go. Deleting a mountain. On the eighth level, 17.5 million. Hells yeah, dude. Right, we don't need the rock truck today. We don't need we probably won't need the rock truck today, but um, you know. Follow cam, drive cam, focus cam, free cam, in cab, follow cam free. Okay, there we go. Alright. Three, two, one, let's go. Get it moving. We don't want to delete too much. We want to run. Let's watch that bucket. All this is pay, so we just need to get it gone. A little deleting is okay. But we don't we need to massively delete because there is a gigantic uh, amount of material that we need and money we need to finish this project. So. Wiggle scoop, wiggle scoop. Day of drinking. Snippy, what's up, buddy? I'll finish my scoop on that. At the moment, grand strategy. Game called Victoria 3. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, we're I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna smash this cut. I am absolutely going to pwn this thing. This cut's going down, dude. And it needs to. Because we need some we need some heavy work today. The last two the last two runs going up that hill. That RP grind, man. It's killing. If you, do, if you don't tilt it all the way, that's true. Because it's letting out more voxels quicker, so. You want to kind of give it a little bit of a... Let it start to trickle and kind of do its thing. And, and then once you see the volatility go away, you don't have to, like, go so much. So, like, when I come in, I kind of stop. Once I start, I kind of let it do that. And once you see it get to a half, then I kind of start the rest of the dump. But um, this is all going to be fixed. So it's, it's kind of a temporary thing. Uh, yeah, I've actually seen, uh, I've actually seen, we actually saw that. It's actually not that bad. Uh, movie paint? Yeah, not bad at all. It was It was a funny watch. It wasn't like the best movie in the world, but it was de definitely decent. I just let him go. I'm not worried about catching every ball. You know what I mean? Like, it's not... For me, I'm not, I'm not worried about that bad. You know what I mean? Like the rock truck is, whew, the, the with the big, with the big balls, it's it's a little on the rough side. You're getting pimped out for Saturday's stream. What do you mean? More than likely, because our uh, our plans got canceled, so. Nobody's probably pissed and ready to sell me off. I think she was saying it yesterday. <clears throat> I his donos win. I don't. I'm not sure what's going on. 
mud mud brick what do you mean the hell is that referencing sorry i'm just not catching every ball i cry every time <laughs> No, I stopped worrying about the, the little things like that square. I'm like, you know, you're going to move a million balls. There's no, uh, no point in worrying about a couple a little drop of spilled milk. You know what I Think on you have no honor. Nope. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> it's just move this dirt. Move it as, as quick as I can here without uh, doing any like hardcore weird shit. I mean, realistically, it's up to you guys whether or not I could add a wash plant to this. I mean, I think I think if I remember correctly, a lot of you guys said that that was too cheaty. That you guys want to see me actually use my big wash plant and only do this just to, to fill the uh, passive money. If I remember correctly. Hey, does the winning bid include a dinner and a movie? I think she's trying to pimp me out for the whole weekend of like movie nights and... Oh, no, only for Saturday? Well, I mean, I can't go hardcore because I had to go back to work on Sunday night, right? So my weekend technically is Friday and Saturday. Sunday is... I have to work that night, so I can't do anything crazy on Sunday. I don't I don't think we're doing a different game. Mud bricked baked dirt. You're talking like like a building block you leave out in the sun and it dries? Oh no 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 no. Sorry, yeah, that's what I thought. I thought you were talking about that. Like you know, where you like water and dirt and then you let it sit out and it dries and turns it no, there's no there's no mud bricks. That's just my guide. Right? It's not a bad little guide right there. We'll keep it there. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm just, uh, I don't know, man. It's been getting, it's been getting long and grueling, this project has. I'm, def I'm definitely feeling it. And I did call that. I was like, you know, two, 250, 300 hour mark, it's going to get a little, a little dicey. I'm, I'm trying to stay focused and positive, but it, it gets to you. It does. It gets to you. These long, 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 long projects. I think once I actually get to build again, it'll feel a little bit better. I've been down in this damnation cut for way too long. But there's nothing I can really do about it. It's not like I can make it go faster. I mean, I could, but that goes against all the, uh... All the viewer challenge rules, right? So, not like I can, that's not an option. Suck it up, Buttercup, right? No doubt. I already, I already hear you. I can already feel you guys typing. <laughs> I feel it. put a little bit more thought into the bottom of the dam and yeah i'm definitely gonna go for a, an arched second dam like a mini hoover down here at the bottom so old man pickle or papa pickle or something like what the hell old retired truck driver what the hell are you talking about old ancient building material to make your project look a little cooler yeah there was uh somebody that did just do a pyramid here recently and um i would agree it would look cool if it was like uh old style like mud bricks anyone got any hot dogs i got a bunch of hot dogs in my fridge a bunch of beef wieners Oh my god, there's too many greys in the chat right now. Oh god, King's great. Hot dogs are nasty. I don't mind them. I had a hot dog in ages. We hadn't either until here just recently, and I picked up some all beef, all beef wieners. Mm, mm, mm. Goddamn all beef wieners. Yeah, Monday night I had a path of tornado radar went down. You start going, damn, dude. Yeah, I saw I saw that that storm front. I was I watched a little bit of that last night on on a, on a news thing, like what kind of like you guys been getting some wicked crazy weather down that area. Got nuts. Haven't eaten a hot dog in twenty years. Gotta stab and jab a little bit better here. Gotta get this moving. Can't suck today. Been longing for a big pot of uh brown beans and cornbread. Oof, I agree. I agree. I you know what? I do I'll agree with that. That's one thing I really haven't had a lot lately, and I really do need to make a good cornbread meal. I will agree with that. 100%. I'm on board with you. The 
The great thing is it's all pay down here. Pyramid has been done. Well, back to brainstorming. I mean, I mean, yeah, pretty much. I mean, but you never know. Yours might look different and better. Who know, or or whatever. You might like it more. That means you shouldn't do a pyramid. It's like I'm building a dam. Did nobody else build a dam? You know. Like I'm, I I made a lake. Nobody else should make a lake, <laughs> right? Do whatever, do whatever you want, man. Have fun with it, dude. Don't worry about whatever people are doing. Corner blocks for the ramps would be sweet. Uh, yeah. I mean, the game could use another big giant overhaul on the blocks. We did. We just got one not too far ago like long ago we got a lot of more building pieces um it's just pretty good there, but yeah we definitely need uh we definitely need a little bit more what's up Slush? what's up gpz what's up guys welcome everybody who just came in who's building the whorehouse the little mining town we'll leave that up to you bud you can fill it with all those prisoners in their orange jumpsuits Yeah, I, I ain't messing around. Damn, that splicing is insane. My map is probably just borked. Uh, we'll push through it. Like I said, like I said in the very beginning, I will push this save to the breaking point. And it is what it is. If it breaks and it can't handle what I'm doing to it, then, then we know that there's a limit. <laughs> and, and we'll find it. Right? So. But I'm going to keep pushing. To, uh, this saves destruction and or completion of the project one or the other whatever happens first this is what it is right so when you do these big crazy projects you always gotta be up for that challenge and know that one day you might go to log in it's just a big sad then you cue the Sarah McLaughlin song in the arms of an angel and you sit at your desk and you weep and then you get your shit going again and figure out something new turn on the sad puppy song and you just sit at your desk and cry for a little bit Stomp pepper push it yep that's i mean that's what we're doing and we have our first export of the day let's go i'm gonna try to stay really close to the work site in my drone so that way the i mean dude i i i'm, I, I'm just gonna say sorry but i know i shouldn't the drone footage just looks like shit now i can't do any it's nothing on our end that we can do the drones need to be completely gutted from the game and put back in from scratch. It's just, they, they worked so much better when they first came in, but now they're just like a dumpster fire. And I was thinking, it, I, was, I was, today I was like, you know, maybe I should just scrap the, the, um, the time lapse, but you know what? Nope. I'm going to, I'm going to stick to it. Even though the, the stuff is all like jumbly and stuff now because the camera and the dirt jumping around and shit. Uh, I'm just gonna stick with it. It is what it is, but I do apologize, but I can't do anything about it Still gonna make the I'm still gonna make the the, the video like I do every day and put them out and and stuff But you know, it definitely needs uh, some eyeballs. I already talked to Christian about it He's gonna try to look into it and see what he can do uh, But the drones are definitely in a bad spot and that's also another reason why I haven't made the drone video because It's just Yeah, it's in a bad spot Yeah, ground's going from high def to low def, like, constantly on my save. Right, so. We'll see what happens.
Let's keep lifting and pulling. Oh, if I can get all that done, if I can get all that, I should be able to get all that into, the, into a box. If I keep moving the box every so often, I should be all right. Get this all gone, chunked out of here, flattened, moved, and work my way over there and cross my fingers that we hit some pay dirt or some uh, bedrock would be nice. You just been digging and digging. Yeah, come up with something. You just look at your save and and or go look around the map a little bit and find something that you want to do. You know, just look at it and like assess what you want to do. And you don't necessarily need to make your mind sight around your project. You can also have your mind sight off somewhere else. You know, you don't need necessarily need to do it all in one spot. So just kind of think about what you want to build and get some inspiration from some st stuff and just kind of go with it, right? Like I had this big mega dam project that's kind of evolved into different things over once you start working on stuff, but I've had the mega dam project for a while. Like pre season three, I was thinking about it. After season two, I was actually thinking about it. So this has uh, been a long time in the works. Yeah, season season four was always going to be a big giant damn project. When I logged into Mine Town, I was like, for the very first time before it even came out, I immediately was like, in my brain, I was I, I kind of like, was like, oh, this little canyon here would be perfect. Because I scoured the map of my season three map on, on coal plant to try to find an area that I wanted to really work in. And yeah, I just, this one, was, this one was also just, it was calling to me. That's why I was asking, you know, in the beginning, like, did I restart? <laughs> did I restart this? You know what I mean? How do we feel about that? We have quite a bit of material in here already. Oh yeah, we're stacking pay dirt fast. Let's get it. I think I'm shoving it in here faster than they can actually handle because I just I already loaded some coal in there and it's not even in there yet. Got to carry on from this one, season five. I would like to. Yeah, I really, I really would. I'd really like to save on it. But if it's, if I'm having, having too much issues, then, then yeah. I mean, I might, I do have a really cool project for season five in mind on the other side of the, the, the dam and a change in the, the factory to support it. So the dam would just be like a really cool asset to have sitting in my world for season five project. 
I'm not going to say what it is because I know everybody's going to jump out to do it first. Uh, so I'm going to hold that one tight. But season five will kind of convert this project into the next build. And I won't have to do all the prep work. So you'll see that project go faster. Right? Unless Christian gives us a massive reason to reset and start over. But I don't know if I'm going to do it. I don't know this time. I think I, I really want to get another cool project done and not take, you know, six months or five months, right? And it would be legendary to see this. This project, in a way, I mean, okay. But this project has to happen. On I, I wanted this to happen. I've already thought about it ahead. So everything I'm building right now also has season five in mind. Because there's something that I want to do with this save and it's never been done in out of war and I want to do something and it's going to be absolutely ridiculous if I can pull it off. So that's why I want, I'm, I guess Shane, I will continue this project. If it's broken, the dirt, the dirt is janky. That's okay. Because season five is not really going to be about the digging. Season five is going to be about the, the building. So yeah. You, you will like season five, Shane. <laughs> you'll, you'll like season five. The, the what, I, what I'm, what I'm planning on doing. What's up, Russ? Cargo port? No, no, no. I'm going to message Shane real quick. But Shane can't, you can't say anything, Shane. And where is Shane's list? So far down my list, dude. Same safe. <laughs> now you can see why my width and dimensions for everything I have to keep on par and stuff. Yeah, boy. Let's go. Yeah, hopefully I'm crossing my fingers, man. If not, it's okay. I'll still build the same project, but it'll just obviously be on a new save, right? So, but I will carry over money. I don't want to, I don't want to go grind to grind, grind. And I love grinding, but I want a little bit of a break in between. I want to do some, uh, I want to do some building. I want to do some cool stuff. So. Hmm. 
Yeah, you can carry money across saves. It's uh, in your company. Crush and split needs more assets. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna film it a certain way too too Shane. So there's gonna be a lot of off stream building that I'm gonna do. Like I said, it's it's never been done on Out of War, and I'm gonna push the envelope of it. But uh, it's gonna be tedious, man. I just hope it's worth it because last time I did a lot of tedious, crazy, stupid shit. It, no one really watched it, so it was kind of like. It was a bummer. The people that did, they thought it was really funny and really cool, but this will take that and make it look like a bitch. <laughs> it's not no joke. this project i can't wait till it's done because it's just gonna it's gonna look really nice to the landscape but um yeah the next that project that's coming up the next one like i i have to plan these things in advance like i have to right i i absolutely have to because they're so big on scale and just the immense amount of work and hours that i have to put into it i have to start thinking about those things now Right, so I've already in my brain I've already came to the conclusion of two to three hundred hours what I'm past what I'm doing now. And then I got already start think I already have to start thinking about season five, because if I fuck it up, then I gotta go back and redo everything. Right, and I don't wanna give myself more work on top of things, so my numbers have to be correct and my width and my dimensions and everything like that for it to make sense. So I'm on good I'm on good tasks. There's a lot of grind to do though, so I, I already I, I've already gridded everything out Shane I've already gridded everything out and and stuff like that so and I've already kind of rough built it on a on another save so I know that I know it will work Hey, Gosser. How you doing? Scale wise, dude, it's going to look insane sitting up on that big giant platform up there that I got to build. <laughs> Overlooking the dam? Oh, hell yeah, it is. I think it's going to be immense. <laughs> I mean, this damn project, too, is like no joke. It is definitely an effing monster. Hey, what's up, Jasmine? No, it's, it's a beast. Removing these ravine walls and stuff like that, and then coming in and then building in. And good thing you guys allowed me to do a hollow shell build. Thank you very much, by the way. I appreciate that. Because a full in depth all the way inside of it, non hollow shell would have been insane. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna say what I'm doing. Um, I'm just gonna start teasing it, but I'm not gonna say what I'm doing. That would that could be something like maybe season five ish or see sorry season like six adding something like that to this this save if the saves even viable by then right we, we might i might lose the save even just trying to finish this project so i don't want to get too too far ahead of myself and think about season six because you know 
depending on multiplayer and things like that, these projects will be scrapped uh, in a heartbeat for that content. Like, you know what I mean? So keep that in mind, guys. But I do want to finish these projects, but I would rather jump into my multiplayer content uh, for that stuff, like the multiplayer RP series. Now, however, what I am talking about right now, I could still do the same thing in MP and bring that over with that series. Which I think would be absolutely amazing, right, Shane? Now, Shane, Shane's the only one that knows what the project is for season five. I haven't, I haven't told anybody else. Shane's the only one that knows now. A big cargo port. I thought about doing that a long time ago, like in about in November. But the problem is, is that. I need to go to the edge of the map and then I need to nuke out the whole thing and then place in like a million water blocks. So to make the uh, the ocean and then the port and stuff like that, right? So. That is something that needs to be, that, that I would, that would need to be done, but it would be a project that uh, I'd have to, I, I, I can't sit in place you know, two and a half million water blocks. That's something that um, I'd probably ask for help from for some from some of my guys. You know, it had to be done in stages. Quick uh, question: How do you get the gravel texture? I used uh, coal. I just put it in my inventory in my hot bar, and I just click it, and then I just drop it one piece by one piece, and I make them until it fills it all out. Then I roll it down. Normally there's people copying and trying to beat you, but you haven't seen anything yet. Huh? Uh, what will you do with the materials, dirt, pay dirt that you're collecting in the container? I am uh, getting my stockpile built back up. I'm going to be running this pay dirt through the wash plant, the little minor wash plants. Give you a big crisp high five. <laughs> he's on playing right now or just on pay right now. i think he's just on pay right now yes yes i'm on pay i was like what are you i'm just reading things horribly and i'm like what the hell dude big noob no yeah so i'm just i'm just running pay right now to get the rest of this cut out i need to stock back up on my pay dirt i was trying to read like five comments like they were like one i don't know what the hell i was doing there but yeah i'm trying to i'm trying to stock back up on pay dirt so i can run them through my uh my small wash plants i thought you were talking about something else but i guess i was just making it up in my head Chains under NDA. Yep. Pretty much. This is because I know Shane likes this subject. That's actually why I'm doing season five and what I'm building. That's what, I'm, that's what I want to build after this project. Digging. Yeah, I just got to get through this. Uh, I just got to get through this whole this whole process, man. I'm building a gigantic Tim Tam. There you go. Huh. 
<laughs> a gigantic coffee cup with a Tim Tam being dipped into it. <laughs> A gigantic pile of poop. I mean, we did have a wiener garden at one point last season. That was interesting. A grow house. Just got level 21 in out of orc. Congratulations, Connor. Congrats. Uh, if it had a red icon near it, that is the uh, the dirt lock. Just turn that off. That's uh, I think you hit V for that. Which one is that? V? Yeah, V. That number. Little bucket with dirt. Yeah, just hit V and turns that on. That's for uh, bulk. That's for non-bulk mode to. A secondary locking system so you just turn that off by hitting v if that's what you're talking about i believe crazy the movie 31 years a uh, true i guess you're right that is 31 years huh huh well you could be in bulk mode and still hit v on the keyboard and it turns that little light on let's drop a save real quick save for safety Movie came out in nineteen ninety three, huh? That's that's crazy. What's up, old yeller? How you doing, day man? Let's keep pushing. Like I said. But it depends on how I have to load the pay. A lot of progress can get made in a day. That kind of rhymed. Yeah. What's up, K-Dub? Kick him. I didn't want to feel that old today. <laughs> oh, man. I'm really wondering about the uh how much this has got taken into it so far okay we got some coal we're getting some coal we're just crushing in those numbers right now we're getting we're getting some material in there we're restocking so i'm restocking for my my workbenches for my passive gold yesterday and the day before we were running hardcore up the hill and, and moving and now i'm i've chonked through most of my pay dirt that goes into the little workstation benches in my factory so i need to resupply the pay dirt so that's what you're seeing me doing here right now it's that's why it's just going right into a hopper um i i believe i'm i'm, I'm starting to, i don't i i want to say you guys voted a no to me running a wash plant down here i think you guys voted no that if i if i run and separate it has to be done at the big plant above what's up butthole Dig the dirt damn it well i can close off the bucket so i think you guys did i i believe that's why i'm not running that's why i'm not running a wash plant down here uh, connected to this system here and auto sort of separated down here. That is correct. Okay. 
I just want to make sure, like I said, like I want to make sure I'm uh, not cheesing anything for the uh, viewer challenge. You know, try to keep me honest. Build the furnace. Hey, Connor, dude, thank you much for the reminder, dude. Appreciate that. I got a lot of gold to smelt, so. Get this last scoop in, let it do its thing. Turn off the camera. Boom. And let's get up to the top and do that. Appreciate that, bud. I would have forgot. Building up the war chest here. You washing them rubies? Uh, uh, yeah, I will be. I'm just trying to get through all this pay dirt. The rubies wash out really quick versus pay dirt, so I definitely will wash all that stuff out as well, so... That is the only thing that's actually ever been done off stream that got saved is I just opened it up, filled everything up, and then let it process for a little while. But digging and building has never been done. Oh, sorry. I'm not say never. I did because I had to. I had to do the. Uh, I did the actual showcase, right? So that was the only work that got done off stream that you guys didn't see. I was doing the showcase of the, uh, the DLC. Other than that, nope, you guys have seen the whole rest of it. Yo, we gotta chomp through all these gold. And I'm still left with that much there. Camera. All right, let's go over. And let's stock these back up. I guess it's only just one. One and some. Uh craft time on these things on gold the five to one conversion is a little on the slow side but it's not bad because you are crafting a five to one ratio right so that's a really it's a really good amount of money just by having one of these things set up here right and running and then then start running to your main plant right especially if you're doing like an rp like i am like, like a harder a harder play style it's nice to have these things up and running with some pay dirt because it's just happening. You know what I mean? You don't got to be there. These things take about four hours of change to, to let them do their thing. It doesn't take that long to get paid or to fill a bunch of them like I'm doing right now. But by all means, you there is very there's a ton of ways to make money in this game. You don't have to do that. This is just I like a little bit of a warning again. This is I'm only playing this way because it's the viewer challenge. That's it. All right, so any otherwise there's so many more ways to make millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars in this game right so let's hop out here real quick let me get on my drone let's take a look at the footage let's go ahead and move the drone actually turn it on i'm gonna move this drone over along the road I rotate the drone a little bit and then back it up just a little bit. I want to see the. I want to see what I'm doing and I want to see the dump all in one frame. So I want to take out. I have to take out all of this here. There, it looks good for me. Drone's not moving. Okay. Did it work? 
yeah, I'll be washing all the rubies. I'll be washing all the diamonds. I'll be smelting all the silicon. I'll be doing all that stuff. Um, but once we start hitting paid, once we start hitting bedrock, I have to start blasting that bedrock and I have to start running that up the hill to my main plant. Then that's when it gets, that's when it's going to get brutal, but that's what we need. I need that blasted gravel. I need that blasted gravel to my plant. Let me run through my jaw crusher so I can then take it after the fractioner and it's turned into gravel. Then I can turn it into cement and I can then start opening up the cement factory and, and um, getting that rolling. Then that's going to be giving me a lot of building material that I don't have to pay taxes on. But not only will I be grinding for money, but I'll also be grinding for building materials and then we'll see the project really take off. But yeah, I think I've been I've been gravel starved for how many weeks now? The whole time. For two months. Two months. Think of that. I've been gravel starved for two months. Right? So that is the insane thing to even think about. That this project is so big. I haven't even hit bedrock in my main pit yet. In my excavation area. That's how crazy this project is. The only time I hit bedrock is when I was making the diversion tunnel over there. Other than that, I haven't hit it yet. Because this this area was so crazy in height and it varied so much from the surface that I had to just strip it down over and over and over and over again. Yo, what's up Ian dude? How you doing buddy? The greens! The greys! The greys are taking over again. I have a PTSD. No, so I'm going to definitely be able to smash this cut out if I continue to, to just stockpile today. I think I should. I think I should just stockpile today. Get myself set up for all of next week. Get this cut finished. The top part of this cut finished. Right? And then bench down. And then just run. Because I should be into gravel in certain areas. I should. Or should I stockpile? Should I stockpile? Here's a question for chat. I mean, maybe maybe I'll do a poll on that here. What are, what are we at likewise? Have we hit a, have we hit the hundred so we can even bring a poll up? What are we at here? What are we at, chat? Cause I have I have a couple ways that I can do this, which will make things speed up. I'll speed the process up a little bit. I can either A, run like this until I hit bedrock and then use all that stockpile material. Get to sleep. Or they're wickedly delayed. Twitch, chat's asleep. Everyone's sleeping today. Because I won't hit bedrock out on this out on this ledge, right? Because the but that slope is pretty gnarly. But the I'll, it'll be spotty bedrock all the way down to the next bench. It might start hitting some bedrock here in the back corners, but um, yeah. also thought I also was going to see if I could ask you guys if I could build a mini hornet down here on the back side of that berm so I can back up to it with my uh, my rock truck and dump it in there and process and not use the monster hornet until this cuts after this cuts done but then again that would go against a few of your guys' votes Right, so. Oh, man, I wasn't started. Rip, what a noob. Slow, it's a slow day today. Slow day today. It's all right. 
I love my lurkers. You guys are beasts. Hopefully you guys are having fun today. I mean, yesterday you guys were like hopping. You guys must be all tired out and stuff like that. I mean, we know you guys are super old and shit, you know, right? So you can only handle so much excitement, right? You guys, you guys are all tired and shit, you know, I understand. It's okay. Because, I mean, that is breaking one of the rules that I'm not allowed to just build wash plants wherever I'm at. Right? So, that's why I have to do like I'm doing right now. So, that is breaking a few rules. So, but I did say the rules do, do they do change, but I want to make sure you guys are okay with them as the viewers. Right? 61 so far? Damn, we are still doing good. That's awesome, dude. 61, 61 likes, man. This is awesome, dude. Thank you guys very much. Appreciate that. I say stick with the plan, patience to divert you. Yeah. That's also the other thing, too. I like to see your project completed, invested in it. And I wouldn't mind if you built a mini wash plant. It's definitely a voting decision. I wouldn't do it without a vote. I'm just trying to get your guys' opinion on it. If I built a... If I built a mini turbo trauma wash plant here. I want... If I, if I was to do it, it'd be, on the, it'd be on the top side of that ramp over there where those blocks are. I'd build it there so that way I could just back my truck up and dump it into the... And dump it into the hopper. The hoppers, right? That's my view. I want to see completion. Yeah, I think that's a lot of people are worried. I think I think as we go further, we get deeper and deeper, and you guys are actually seeing how long this is actually going to take. I think that that's a lot of your guys' worry is that you guys are thinking that this might not get done. Because as you guys hear me wavering a little bit more, and it's like, oh, this, this is getting grueling. But you know me, I will beast it out. <laughs> I will trooper it down. So, e either way, it's fine. I'm just trying to figure out... I mean, yeah, never mind. I'll just stop being a bitch. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, I'll just stop being ass. Whatever. Get the shit going. No, completion will happen in Season 4. This season, I will... That This, this season will run... As long as it takes me to finish this damn project. Yep. See, this this is where you guys are supposed to slap me now, not agree with me, dudes. See, that's how I know you're getting soft in your old age. Right? You're supposed to be like, hell no, dude. What are you thinking, bro? I determine my season by the project. that I'm working on, so... Yeah. So the seasons can range depending on the project size. Uh, anywhere between 150 to 500, 600 to 1,000 hours. Damn it, he, he, he freaking baited us into calling us old somehow again. Damn it. Enough ships, time to slay some zombies. Initially, I was for the wash plant down here. Now, <laughs> you go to hell. <laughs> no wash plant for you. I'm okay. It's this. Is, we're making. I'm probably making progress today. I just ran a lot of dirt up that hill yet the last couple days, and it, it kind of got to me a little bit. Just need to slap myself around a little bit. You know what I mean? That's all it is.
taking its time. I agree, then no wash went down here for you, then. Yeah, I just need to stop. I need to suck it up. That's what I'm saying. I just need to stop. I just, just get it done. Like, holy crap. Gotta finish this all up by hand. Yeah, keep the current rate what we're doing i'm making progress it was just like i said it was it was a long couple weeks so mentally you hit those brick walls right where you're like oh dude it's not it's not burnout it's not it's not burnout because i'm actually i'm actually having fun it's just it's just when you look at how long something takes and you're just like and you're doing it and you're like oh man it seems like you're just i just seem in, from my end my point of view it seems like i'm not making any progress but Please tell me if it feels that feels completely wrong because I feel from my end. I'm not making any progress at all. Like, I feel like I'm just literally haven't done shit in like four weeks. <laughs> and we're exporting. Yeah, I don't know. That's that, uh, that's just getting into the saves for this long, right? We're only just beginning the save, if you think about it. We're not even in deep endings yet. We're like in the middle stage. Yeah, my brain just tells me, like, I haven't done anything. Like, when I look at it, maybe this the pit is seeming smaller than it actually is in my brain. You know what I mean? Like, I'm looking at it from, from my point of view. I'm looking at it like... Yeah, yeah I mean, it, just, it doesn't seem like anything. I don't know. Maybe the scale of it doesn't impress me anymore. Like, maybe that's what it is. My brain's just playing tricks on me. Okay, fine. Getting soft. Yeah, stop slacking. Yeah, now, see, now you guys are... Yeah, there you go. That's the viewers I'm expecting. There we are. Stop being a noob. Stop it complaining. You're about, you sound like my grandma. Now, like I said, this area, if you look, if you go to and you look at this area before I've even touched it, you'll be like, you'll understand why I haven't hit bedrock. Right? Like, we're so close to bedrock in certain areas. Like, we're probably, we're probably feet away. But I can't, I can't touch it. I can't do that. If I do that, it'll mess everything up, right? So I just gotta be patient. Right, so... Like, we already did some test tests. I'm probably literally inches away from Pater in certain areas, right? Like, but I won't hit bedrock out towards the ledge because the ledge is sloping, right? So uh, the angle and depth also changes a little bit. It can also skew a little bit more. It can stretch out or, or shorten the distance between bedrock. I hit bedrock in that back corner, and I will hit bedrock again over there soon. But if I follow the original bedrock line, like over here in the middle, I won't hit bedrock for a while because it was the shallowest part of the canyon. Right, so.
But the decision, when I made the decision, I was going to make this pit somewhere else. Now, could you imagine if I would have done that and blundered there? That would have been a blunder. That would have been an absolute blunder. For me to start this amount of digging in another pit to get to bedrock and have a bedrock pit just to make gravel, and on top of having to do this this damnation cut, that would have been, nah, That's that would have been a stupid mistake on my part. Absolutely stupid mistake on my part. Hour-wise, dude. Let's talk more dig. Alright, I'm on it. Righty, righty, righty. Oh, yeah, also, team, remember, remind me in about an hour. So, 45 minutes from now, remind me to go check the uh, things. Gotta be mindful of the camera again so we don't want to overextend. I gotta change the camera view. Ooh. I'm really curious how how deep the dirt is right now. Over in this back corner. And we should be getting pretty close there. I should be getting close. You gotta be getting close, but I need to use the restroom, so I'm gonna turn this camera off here for a second once this decays. Use the uh, restroom for two seconds here. BRB. Dude, I ain't pooping. Get a slice of pizza. Is this thing still adding up? How late is this thing? I want to move it a little closer, but I don't know how long that thing's processing for.
No brakes for you. I came here for the dig dig. Well, I got to refuel myself, so. Piece of leftover pizza. Shane, come in and drop in a 10 banger, brother. Man, thank you much for that support, dude. Get the hypes in the chat for Shane. Hey, what's up, Dark? Did you? I take it you got your uh, issue fixed. What what ended up? What was into the problem? What ended up being your issue there, dude. It was your uh, it was your modem this whole time, huh? Interesting. Is your modem just took a poop, huh? She just pulled out the donation minigun, huh? Yeah, man, these guys have been uh, these guys go these guys these guys go hard sometimes, bros. Every once in a while, they got to pull it out and just start slapping memberships around. The great Snippy and, and Shane war on Twitch was a, was a good battle. They were <laughs> throwing down on each other. Mr. Beast, Jimmy D, if you ban three random people in your chat, you'll give me 10 grand. Hmm. Three random for 10 grand. That's, that's pretty low. I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty high for just randos. What would you give me if I banned three of my moderators? Jimmy. 150, 200 grand. You want to break my PayPal? Right now. Ban three people. We got any volunteers? You only give me five grand to ban three of my moderators? That's how I know you're not Jimmy. That's how I know you're not Jimmy. 100%. I'll do it for 1500, says Neo. Three randos is worth 10K, 10K to you? But three of my moderators, you'd only give me 5k for it. That is, dude, mods, you gonna take that? All right, 25 grand to ban that 25, a moderator. And I've had my mods for like seven years. What the hell? What the hell, man? My feelings are hurt right now, dude. I'm just saying. My feelings, my feelings are hurt. And my mods are, my mods, you know, do you wanted it or not? Um, I'm all right. I'll pass. Okay. He didn't say permaban. And what are you doing over here on Twitch? You should be on YouTube, bro. God damn. Holy shit, Jimmy. You're slacking. Jimmy's slacking, dude. That's right, dude. It's okay. Post of it in three days. Are you broke, Jimmy? 
or like the real Jimmy. Come on, man. If you broke Jimmy, $500 donation right now. Or if you're the real Jimmy, 500 bucks. Come on. You got to toss more than me than that. Come on, dude. The terrorist Jimmy. We've had bigger donations than that, by the way, on this channel. So that, that uh, doesn't faze me that much. Just saying. <laughs> Prove your Mr. Beast and noob. <laughs> you YouTube's already fighting back already. Also, Jimmy types better than that, by the way. YouTube is where we are, not some Twitch nonsense. <clears throat> Jan, I'm trying to get my pizza, damn it. Gosh, damn it. I've been here longer than that, shit. <laughs> Got to add these nuts. We know, you know, you know how we know he's broke, Jimmy. Because Mr. Beast always comes in with a proving donation that is actually him before he says to do something like that. Like, oh, oops, I just dropped like $1,500. <laughs> oops, you believe me now? Okay, will you do it now? Yes. Just watch all of his videos. You just know his format really easily. Up, turn, turn. He just wanted to be a moderator. Wait, I don't even remember. Did he say he will for, to let him ban three people or me ban three people? Us ban three people. Gonna drop 10 bombs on us. Don't be banned. <laughs> Don't be like, it's been a bit of a while since I've been able to ban somebody. That's fun. Like. You know why you always turn down the Jimmy? It's because the exposure you'd get from actually being on his channel is worth more than the money he'd be giving you that day on stream. <laughs> right? You're, you're the guy that turned down 20 grand. Yep. Mm -hmm. You're here now, right? Exactly. <laughs> right.
20 grand is not a lot of money nowadays. I'm just saying. I find that to be insulting. You know what I mean? <laughs> Damn, bro. Time to reset the drone? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do one more little thing here. I wouldn't buy a second-hand car in Australia. <laughs> Fuck. Ten grand, huh? Did they add multiplayer yet? No, not yet. Multiplayer is, is multiplayer is not their focus to get done as quick as possible right now. But uh, it is on the table of something that was because so many people were asking for it, pretty much. But they have a lot of stuff going on right now, guys. So be should be really patient with them. Trust me, it'll be worth it. Just trust me. Just be patient. I'm also looking forward to. It. I, I think all of us are, man. I think all of us are looking forward to uh, the multiplayer. I'm gonna jump out and roll real quick, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna build another box because this thing apparently is processing for days. So oh, we're oh. and we're and we're exporting, so we're just gonna sit here for a little bit. Nine grand euro, 10K, a 20 euro, right? Yep, there's a lot of people waiting to simulate some cool stuff in this game Come when multiplayer comes. I know I'll be, uh, I'll, we'll be covering some crazy ass stuff. And at that moment, we have to pray for the game. We are going to absolutely obliterate this thing. <laughs> I just wonder how many dozers the game can handle running at the same time. Because we're, we're going to be stripping these cuts. Just wondering how it's going to beat it up. You reckon that you will have it by Christmas, you think? You think by Christmas? Yeah, you think by Christmas that we'll we'll have uh we'll have multiplayer? What are your guys' guesses? What yeah, what are your guys' guesses for uh multiplayer? Uh time frame wise. Oh well run into that. Yep, Christmas gives us eight months. Thanksgiving. I mean, would that be the two-year anniversary if you put it in the October-November range? You're thinking two to three months for the next gens? I 
That's what you're thinking? Well, Steam Winter Sales, too. Yeah, and we're also, we'd also be entering into a new quarter, too, right? Uh, yeah, right? I think we are, right? We would be, right? And he said he was going to be raising the price up of the game at that point, too, as well. So, I mean, that's, that's a very good guess. A good guess, right? Like, good educated guess, you know? And a lot of people will be uh, playing it. There'll be a lot of eyeballs on it. There'll be a lot of people would want to buy it for their loved ones because that love just love mining games in general and gifting it and stuff. I think it'd be a good marketing uh, ta uh, tactic. Yeah. I have a quick question about your graphics. When you lift the bucket, full dirt it looks like uh smooth till you dump it out i have a quick question about your graphics when you lift the bucket full to say fill dirt god damn stupid ad breaks <laughs> oh you're, you're talking about the uh, uh he's talking hold on he's talking about the um the bulk mode I believe are you still are you stuck in an ad break there uh Cardman? I have to ask. I don't know who's stuck in that break and who's not. Stupid Twitch. Okay, you're not in that break. Uh, that's because I have bulk mode turned on. Uh, bulk mode. Bulk mode is the non-ball mode. So when you're in a piece of equipment, press I. Go to equipment and then turn this setting on right here bulk mode uh that works in all the digging and the rock trucks so and then when you dump it it'll dump it as a ball it's just the way the game calculates the uh dropping and stuff like that so if you want the smooth digging without the balls uh turn your machines to bulk mode do 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 ba -da -ba -do. Yeah, so just turn turn your equipment to that, and that way you get that smooth digging and you don't have all the balls flying around. Then when you go to dump, it'll uh, dump it off. Been trying to figure that out. No problem, man. Once the game gets stabilized out a little bit more, I'll be uh, releasing a lot more tips and tricks and stuff like that. But the game's changing so much lately, I put a, I put a hold on all of my how-tos and stuff like that because... Every time I invest time into building a how-to, Christian changes the damn game and then it confuses people, right? But because people don't read between the lines anymore, apparently, nowadays. So I'm, I've am i stopped doing my how-tos uh, because of that. Not a big deal, but you know what I mean? I want to make sure that we're not confusing people. Well, lol, yeah. All right, so I'm just going to hold off on that and just scream and holy gosh, damn it, that was loud. Thank you. My soul just came out of my body there. Thank you much for that, Prime, brother. Appreciate that, man. If you guys ever have any, any questions about the game, feel free to jump on in and... And, uh... Been looking into this? Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, man. Thank you much for that, uh, that Primes. Okay. Yeah, because the, the game is always changing, and it's going to change massively here, too, as well, so... Oh, yeah, I just don't want to have to keep doing the work over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Um, I hate doing that. I love making videos. And I like people watching my content, but dude, it's annoying because like, that takes away from streaming, right? So I like making videos. and I like helping people, but I hate having to do that. I'm, I'm not a good video creator, right? I, 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 it takes me way too long to make videos. This is number it just needs to stop moving. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, let's turn that off. Go into the uh in the camera here. Back to the drone. Hi. That was perfect. 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 Okay, where am I gonna move? I think I'm gonna turn this on and I'm gonna move over. I'm gonna go straight forward and then do like or a round arc back the way I came. 
and look back towards the wall face. So I'm going to turn this back on and I'm going to jet out over here. And I'm going to slowly kind of like wiggle my camera like this. Right. I'm not going to look at that big wall, but I want to be able to see what's going on. We don't want to get too far away and the camera's going to look a little janky. But I know where I'm going to build the next hopper. It's going to be right in this corner. All right, now we'll stabilize the camera. We don't want to move anymore. Stop moving, please. Hopefully that stays there. Stop the recording. Okay. He said stop. <laughs> Been looking into this. I love so far is taking me uh Taking me away from satisfactory, yeah? Well, it, it does have that satisfactory vibe, but we get to dig. And I think that's the bonus, right? Yeah, that's not going to stop anytime soon. I've, I've preloaded that in so hard. Oh, crazy. Okay. Let me uh, buy a couple things here. Equipment. Building. Production. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely giving us a nice uh, something to do. Some other, some other stuff and play it a different way. Like, I like Satisfactory, but I also like the digging game. So it's kind of like a good little mesh between them. And it's got a decent little building system to it for, for right now. Very basic, but it works. Gets the job done. Okay. So same thing here. I'm going to move this over here. Move it off of the wall a little bit. Boom. Boom. And we have enough of these guys to jump up here. Make ourselves a stupid little hopper like I did last time. I am not in the mood to... There we go. Okay, now you're snapping. Why don't you want to do that earlier? Apparently, I just wanted to be a giant pain in the ass. Let's go rebuild. Put these corners in like this. You don't want to now, eh? Okay. Here we go. Oh, you're fine. That's fine. Don't care. Let's go. <laughs> right. Don't care. Don't have to be perfect. Let's turn this camera on. Drop a save, actually. Head and save. Sorry if I missed somebody's question there. Save, yep. Digging takes you back to your youth when the Tonker trucks and such. Yeah, the t it, it does. It really does give you that vibe of like just playing in a sandbox when you're your kid, right? Playing with your little Tonker trucks. Mixed with like quite a few different gameplay mechanics that makes the game like branch out into different like genres almost, in a, in, so to speak. And so. There's my camera right there. Uh, stop the camera and I need to take a look real quick at the view of the camera Ooh, I almost hit send back to garage my heart skips a beat when I do that on accident All right, okay we're good that's good I should drop an export real quick too my dumbass almost just fat fingered that drone to the garage and that would have sucked because then my damn transition would have been gone <laughs> oh I mean, I, I, uh, for, okay. People ask me what, what, what haven't you liked so far right now? I love the drones. I love the drones. The drones, when they first came out were, I absolutely fell in love with them with the power of the drones. The thing that irritates me the most about this game right now is the lack of me being able to use the drones because they're not the same as they were back when they first came out. That is the only thing that irritates me right now. And I know it's just a weird little thing, but. It's that's the thing that irritates me the most because I absolutely love having different camera angles and being able to do these crazy things with the drones. It's the only thing that's the only thing that's pissing me off. 
but it's such a it's just a little thing that's not needed to play the game it's just that's my content creator side coming out right so it's not like it's a, a big deal like in the grand scheme of things but that's for me personally that's about the only thing that really irritates me what's up t-man how you doing buddy let's get it moving get it rolling because i want i was I, after I, during season three when they came out man i was just the time lapse quality just went through the roof with the drones and having multiple drones so season four my plan was to always have a secondary drone running at all times and that drone was going to be an aerial cam of the whole project from start to finish and when i came in to start season four the drones had changed and it was like what you saw you could you heard my disappointment in the beginning of season four i was like no those plans are pwned now but that's okay Hopefully we can get him. Hopefully we can get him, he can get him ironed out, and the rest of these little wobbles that we're having. And uh, you actually can bury your drone and get your drone to clip into the into the world and see through the and see through it. But I did, I did, I did uh, ask Christian that too. I was like, you know, the drone's cool and all like that. It's it's really cool and it's nice and it has cool functions. But as as on the creator side of things. The drone should be able to have a toggle button where we can just clip right through the world naturally like ghost mode in a sense where we can just literally go through the ground and do whatever we want and film from a whatever angle and uh things like that too right while it's a cool feature to have for the game it's a really powerful tool to have for the content creators right so it'd be nice to have some of those options right it'd be nice it'd be nice to have uh, just where it just flies through anything. God mode, in a sense, right? Because the old camera was nice, but... Uh, do I use keyboard and mouse? Yes. I use default, uh, goal worse the game, uh, key bindings. I'm just that's just what I'm used to and I've done it for thousands and thousands of hours competition stuff like that right I have, I have a full sim rig but I just I just don't prefer to use it I'm just comfortable playing with goal or settings oh, I guess I should say goal mining simulator say that now sorry i want to confuse people but yeah i use i use stock default uh gms controls yeah i'll be gotta change my propane tank oh yeah man Keep on digging. I really want to punch a hole down here in the corner and see how deep I actually am. See how close I actually am to bedrock in this area. <laughs> so tempted.
Keep on filling. That's making me lose my brain. Damn damnation cut. Not seeing bedrock is pissing me off. I just want to blast and, and blast in mine for once. Holy cow, dude. Or bust out the damn ripper on the dozer. No, that would suck ass. Definitely gonna be blasting. <laughs> Def definitely gonna be blasting. deep right here but this area was massively steep All right so all right that's it i gotta do it i got i gotta punch a little test hole here let's do it over here where is bedrock are we close fill it in but are we no i thought we were like a couple feet down here you're kidding me Really? Oh my gosh, we're that far down. Jeez, dude. Oh, that's how far we are from bedrock right here at this area. And get out of the hole. That's how deep we are right there to hit bedrock. Oh, dear. Dude, it's still that far down here, this area. I think in this back corner, though, I should be hitting it here soon. I should be hitting it soon. Because this thing sloped down, right? That is ridiculous how much the grade changed. One spot to another. Uh, well, it goes down technically forever. But at a certain point, at a certain point in the game, there's so much fog, you can't see anything. Uh, the, so, I mean, I've, I've, been, I've, I've been down 3,000 nukes with an auto clicker. And it was still letting me pl blast nukes and causing a hole, so. Uh, can I see anything? No. The iron source? Yes. Okay, so... So, a lot of people say that the nodes stop. That is 100% false. The nodes do not ever stop. Your node... Will just go down forever. Eventually you'll hit bedrock and it'll be surrounded by bedrock and where a lot of people think the nodes are ending is because they contaminated their node and they jump dropped a whole bunch of dirt on it or something like that so they think it went away but really it didn't it's still there all you have to do is clear off the crap and not con continue to contaminate your uh your your node but a node does go down forever if it just goes straight through the layers but whatever you see the surface see these little spots see that coal node right there that I'm kind of digging in that node was the same shape as it was on the top of the surface unless it was on an angle and then it might change a little bit right from what you actually see because it's on a, it's on like a slant that's if it was on a hill right so if it was on if it was on flat like perfectly flat ground it'll go straight down Popping back in to say, yo, making some good progress. Yeah, man, crushing it right now. I've never seen them veer off of, from their surface shape when they're on fly ground. I've never seen that. I've tested a so many times I've never seen that defiant.
the only time I've ever seen that is when they're on the side of a hill and it's um it's it's tricking you because if you cleared the whole area out the node on the hill it's it stretches it stretches the terrain right but if it's on a flat ground you'll notice that 99 it'll be 99 percent of the time it'll be the same node structure shape because when it's it stretches from the top so it kind of acts like a cone in a sense because just the way that the uh the ground stretches it out right the top terrain versus the bottom where it's actually at so if you were to flatten that piece of terrain out like on the side of the hill if you brought it out it'd be it would be on there like that no i didn't say anything about being on flat ground no that's what i'm saying yeah it's it, it's only you're it's only tricking you because of how flat it's stretched out with the area around you but technically the nodes do go straight down at a certain point right so once you get around the the angle of the the geometry that's around it that's that's stretched in a sense like that mountain over there if there was a node on the side of it you won't see the full node on the surface Right, so that's just because it doesn't show you the full node on the surface on a hill because it's all stretched out and weird but yes in in uh the way that because the way that it's coded is it's literally just like straight through the world right it doesn't have any veers or anything like that it doesn't veer off in any way or 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 spider out in other locations or things like that so that i think it's like i think from what i noticed is if you say you had like a hill right like a really sharp hill like that one over there where it looks like the rock you could even put a node i've seen some nodes that you can't even see in that rock when it's that steep right but then you dig into it and you're like wait there's actually a node here what the hell and then if you dig into it you'll be like oh shit there's a, there is actually a node here but what the f what the f right <laughs> like i thought all nodes could be seen from the surface and that's not necessarily true not all nodes you can see from the surface if they're on really steep terrain i found some nodes on other maps on the side of these mountains that are massive massive because the way that the game stretches them out were on that when they're on that steep of terrain and i just found it by accident by just nuking shit just dropping like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of nukes yeah coal plant I've, I've found nodes on the side of hills that are literally the size of this cut but it's like to get those things all excavated out is just insane and then when you get down deep enough since it was stretched so much the node is actually the node gets smaller that's one thing i've noticed so it'll, it'll be it'll it'll act weird at the top because of the stretching from what i've found But I don't like chasing nodes anyways. I don't like... I, I don't find the nodes to be big enough when they're on the flat ground. They're not big enough. I think the coal nodes are like too small. And that's why I prefer running uh, pay dirt. Lots of mining style stuff. I'm strip mining. It just feels better. It's better gameplay, I feel. Sometimes I just ignore nodes. I don't like the whole node structure anyways. I think it's weird. <laughs> I really don't. I don't think we should see the nodes at all. But that's just because prospecting's not been in the game, so yeah, I don't I don't think we should see a node. Coal is kind of worthless and it's trying to make steel. Yeah. And you get so much of it per scoop, it's like to set your whole mining operation up around a coal node is kind of like weird. But that all should be changing from what Christian was, has, has said in the past, so.
The game as we know it right now will not be the same. Like a year from now. Right? So. Yeah, the nodes are weird. It don't make too much sense. Um, how long do I think? I don't think that that'll come until he goes to Unreal, Unreal 5. I don't think that that's going to come in there. I think he, was, he even said that on the uh, Q and one of the Q&As. None of the node structures and stuff like that are going to come in until then, roughly. When the, when the world, when the world gets a rework. All right, so right now we get these very generic maps. And apparently he's trying to build worlds that are more like the things we've talked about in the past. So... That will happen when he goes to UE5, 5.3, because he'll have a lot more resource budget in the game. So, within the engine itself, there'll be it's a lot more he can fit. He can put a lot more shit into a small bag, in a sense, right? So, way more, way more. The streaming texture budget for UE5 is massively, it's massive, especially if you build the world partition correctly. So, when you're looking into another world partition from us, so say you have a square, right? And you're you're we're working on squares. We're we're currently in grids right now. Anyways, this is the way games work. If you don't know, we're currently on a big giant square, and there's a whole bunch of tiles. On tiles, there's a whole bunch of these tiles within a grid. And when I'm working here, and I'm looking out over there, and I see other grid tiles, it lowers the resolution of those textures automatically, and therefore they don't take up as much resources. Right? UE5 handles Unreal 5 handles that way better and faster and way more seamless and you can add way more detail to the stuff way far away and it just makes the realism go through the roof right like the amount of textures that you can put in and there's other things you can do to even beef that up even more right so like he could he could make the map size way smaller but make it a part of a network of these squares and where we buy these big giant chunks of land to do things to, right? And then there's still static parts of the map where we can't dig up, but we still get, it's it's beautiful and it looks really good, right? That's that's the ultimate goal of, of, of something like this, right? Right now it's just one big giant world and the whole world is deformable and, and stuff like that, but there need, that doesn't give you a lot of life in the world. You have to create the life. I, I think that's okay. It's okay to an certain extent, but a lot of people are going to get bored of that really quick. They, A lot of people, you, you notice in the comments here, people join into the stream and they're like, yo, like, what do I do? Like, oh, I just start digging? Huh. I guess. That's cool, I guess. People want quests. People want reasons to do things. People want, like, a little bit of a story arc going on, right? People want some beautiful scenery. People, you know, they, there's... Everybody plays these games for different reasons, so you gotta kind of have to kind of like pick and choose where you fight your battles as a developer, right? And that's it's gonna take time to see where the game goes. But yes, I I would like to see the game where there is no. I'd like to see the game be, be a little bit more brutal, a little bit more hands-on-y when it comes to things. And um, I've given Christian a lot of suggestions as far as like mid-game, early game, and uh, stuff like that, right? They want stuff because there's no imagination anymore. Well, the problem is, and I do agree with them. I do agree with them. Some people want to sit down and play a video game. They don't want to create a video game. And right now, we're technically just map makers in a sense. Not everybody wants to do that. That's not fun to a lot of people. Some people want something just to play, and they and they play it in a path, right? And that's completely fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It doesn't mean that they're horrible people or they have no imagination or anything like that. It just means they want to sit down and play and relax, right? So... Right now, the game is very daunting when you first get it, and you don't know what you first you have to learn all this equipment. You gotta learn how to use it. You gotta learn all the ins and outs. And for some people, that's already too much, and that's a deterrent in its own right. Right? So, you know, there's nothing wrong with, you know, making a story a story to start out with to kind of lead people in the right path and have a little bit more environment and stuff like that, right? Like, pretty much in a sense, taking, taking the deco pack and adding a thousand more things to it and building like like when i build worlds like th these deco packs are great and all but i when i build worlds in unreal i go absolutely ballistic because i can just do whatever i want right so people people appreciate that when map makers do that 
because they like that nice scenery. They like to see that repetitive niceness there and and they know it's there, right? We're off in this vast area here in the middle of freaking bumfuck Egypt over here, right? We're freaking, you know what I mean? Like, where, where the hell are we? I have no reference to where the F I actually am in this world, right? So, and, and for me, I find that to be a little shit for myself personally. I want to know where I'm at in this world in conjunction to a landmark, right? So I want to know where I'm at, right? Or if there's a road nearby that I can make a path to or things like that, right? And then, then, then I have a reason to buy things like a semi truck to truck my shit around to different mine sites that I'm doing and not just stumping through the woods like Elmer Fudd with a shotgun. You know what I mean? So it does make sense. They are 100. They are right. They're not wrong. It, when people say, you know, it's, you know, it's or lack of imagination. No, it's just that gets old real quick when you're constantly using your ticker to sit. Sometimes you just want to drone out and just do shit, right? But yeah, I, I agree with them. I do agree. But we need to make GPS locations. Eh. It, the game needs its own internal network structure as far as highways and roads when the map's this effing big. It really does. It needs it needs a couple static towns that are actually built. And it needs, like, a rivers and bridges that are already done uh, for us to interact with and, and, and drive around the map. That would add so much more life to the game, and it would add more gameplay. Right? If the trucking was done really well and there was roads... Like ATS, but you know, dumb it down a little bit. Obviously, you're going through this bush country and stuff, right? You know, for you to go from one end of the map to the other on a, no a road network, that could take you 30 to 45 minutes, maybe longer, right? So, it's a long. That's a that's a whole different a gameplay mechanic, right? That's added in. For me, logistically, I'd be like, okay, well, then I don't want my mine sites too far apart. Don't be wrong, I want a lot of stuff, but a lot of people these days just seem like they want everything handed to them. Well, that is true, and they're not wrong, though, because it depends on what everybody buys the game for a different reason, right? That's so why I've said the biggest the biggest battle Christian's going to have is building a game uh, to get his, what he wants to do with it, right? And what the game is actually supposed to be is very important. It's a, it's a very hard thing. Like, you can tell he's just going... They have they have an idea. They're they're moving towards it, and you know, I mean, well, we all, we obviously knew that Defiant when people like, for instance, when the leveling stuff came out. Look how many people complained. Everyone's like, we want something to do in the game. We want something to do in the game. We want to make they, we want it harder. And then Christian makes it harder, adds in leveling, and people freaked out and started crying about it. Well, now it's too hard, and. Now I, I don't feel like I want to play anymore because I have to work. And video games aren't work. You're playing a mining simulator, a blue collar working class, you know, a job, right? Like, come on. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's going to be grindy. It's going to be boring. Is congratulations, boys and girls. Heavy equipment is boring as shit. Even in real, it's, it's boring. You're going to get tired of it. You're going to get bored. You're going to not have fun at your job. It's just the same shit over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Don't glorify it because it's not, it's not amazing. Every heavy equipment operator that's actually a legit heavy equipment operator will tell you the same damn thing. Hardest part of the job is not falling asleep because it's so monotonous. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, yeah, truck driving is boring. And stuff like that. So these people, they just, they want something. They want something, but they don't know what they want. It's really weird. That's why, why do you think a lot of people say that they're not going to buy the game unless it has multiplayer? Right? A lot of people will never take on a project like I'm doing right now by themselves. Never. They can't even fathom doing something like what I'm doing. Right? A mass, a mass majority. So it's, yeah. Yeah, that's what it is, you know? And, and and like I said, they're not wrong. They're not wrong. They aren't wrong in wanting something to be a little bit more arcadey or a little bit more handed to them. They're not wrong. Because games are supposed to be fun after all, right? They're not wrong one bit. It shouldn't take you 400 hours to just get a cut open that's a decent size, right? Like, it shouldn't. It just should not. That's just too much. That means the game wasn't balanced properly and the equipment is quote unquote too 
it's not balanced for arcade enough. And that's what I, I dislike about people that say that the dozers delete too much pay. Honestly, ugh, yeah. I, I already answered that question, Toby. Yep, I use basic keyboard and mouse. Oh, worse controls. Yeah, so it's not a, it's it's just a weird thing, right? I said, nobody's wrong, right? You know what I mean? Nobody's wrong in there and they're wanting different things with the game. Nobody's wrong. It's just like Christian says, made, made, when people suggest certain things, Christian's like, no, that doesn't make sense. It do, I don't feel like that's going to add to the game. And that's the way he says it all the time. So when people are like, we want a hardcore survival aspect to the game, like where we have to eat food and drink coffee and, and stuff like that, right? That will not add to the game. It won't add value to the game. It'll add an annoying factor and something that we have to add into our rotation, but it won't really add it, right? Anything to the game. Now, down the road, once the game is built, sure. Maybe I have different modes, right? But up front, no. Like, make it make a mode later on down the road where you can't blast mine. You can't stand on top of uh, conveyors with heavy equipment. You can't do any of that stuff. It, it force You cannot just physically do it at all. It'll break it, and it'll break down every time, and you're not allowed to do it, right? You know? Like, there's, there's options, but doing all those options right now is not... I don't think that's a good thing. Because then he's running around like a chicken with his head cut off. And he's not making the game really progress on a fast rate in one style of gameplay. He's got to focus on one thing, and people need to stop pushing him in 40 different directions because they want options on everything. Right? Like, why do you think car manufacturers only give people so many options? Because if they sat there and worried about building everything with options, the cars would never get built. Ever. Right, so we have to let them work. We gotta let them work. We can't sit there and go make an option for an option for an option for an option and give us that option just to make everybody happy. Eventually, you just can't do that. Right, so yeah, it's it, it and that's what that's what happened before with the game too. So and that's why he took beta testing away from everybody because all people wanted to do was play it early and get in his head. Right, and just get into his head. Need to let him cook, exactly, man. We got to let them cook and we got to let them know what we want and then just cross your fingers and hope for the best and, and know that he's making the right judgment call for his game. Yeah, agree. Add core features. Yeah, exactly. Add core features before anything else. And Christian's going to be the one that decides what the core of this game is going to be. And we can only leave suggestions, right? And and stuff, right? Like, But people, when they're demanding options and stuff like that, they're just, they don't realize what they're asking for. They're asking for a shit ton of time, and then he's got to build things twice or three times or four times over just to make people happy. You're never going to make everybody happy, so the best thing for him to do is work and just let him do his thing. And then later on down the road, we can be like, hey, Christian, dude, you know what would be really cool is if you gave us this mode where we could do this, 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 and this, and it plays like this. When he has the time to sit down and do that, and he can focus all of his attention on doing that one thing. Right? That's how you let developers do their thing. Right? So, right now, we got to let them, we like, yeah, I was like, we got to let them cook. You know what I mean? We got to let them do his thing. And then later on, we'll come in as a community and and be like, you know, that'd be really cool. Right? Feedback's great. Feedback's really amazing. But sometimes too much feedback is a bad thing. Right? Because if, you, if you're a people pleaser, and that's one thing that we know from Christian, is he likes to, to please people and make them happy. And he likes to give them what they want it can actually be a detriment and we've seen the negative side of that with him as well just being brutally honest we've seen the negative side of it right so you know what i mean so he's got you know and, and that's why and that's why he removed uh open open testing from everybody because too many people want to sit there and just rally down on him constantly and then cause fights about it right so yeah that's i mean Yeah, most people... Yeah, exactly. Most people aren't going to... The attention span of people nowadays with TikTok brain to play a game like this where they have to invest a crap load of time is... It's hard. 
And that also that also puts us in a weird spot as players that do like to grind, right? Because a lot of us like to grind. People here, you guys are here watching, you guys like to grind. You guys like this shit, right? You guys live for this shit, right? This is how you guys play your video games, right? So a lot of us are in the same category, but we, here's what I have to say about that. Let's make sure we look out for all the other people too. And that's the same thing I said about Gold Rush back in the day. Just because a lot of us are hardcore, we grind, and we're beasts, doesn't mean that everybody else is. And we want to make sure that everybody is looked, taken care of, right? As a community of, of, of people that that do talk to Christian and talk about the game and theorycraft the game is that we want to make sure we look out for everybody. We want to make sure that we look out for Jim that has to work 60 hours a week and has kids that he can still come and enjoy and play the video game, right? So we got to make sure we look out for those guys too. That's why I don't like super simulator games. I think they're horrible. This poor Jim just wants to dig a hole and have fun, but now he's got to do 400,000 other things. So... <laughs> You know what I mean? So, yeah. That's my, that's my, that's why people are like, oh, so what's like the, uh, uh, what's the PR guy? Absolutely not. I don't work for Coder. I don't work for, I do not work for, um, for Christian. I don't do anything like that. I do this out of my own fun. I'm not Christian does not tell me what to make for content. He just says, here you go. Have fun with it. And, uh, you know, he doesn't even tell me to make the game look good. He just says here, you know, spread the word, man. You know what I mean? Like, like from, from, so for me, I like to try to put myself and I always have tried to put myself in a position where I'm kind of an in between, between the developers and the communities right like my community and the, the communities the game that i'm a part of like i by all means most of my suggestions to the game from christian directly when we're in chatting are be, are mixed ideas of all of your guys' suggestions that we talk about in chat it's never just what i want period like because what i want a lot of you guys may not want right so i take all of your guys's stuff and I lump it into something that makes sense that he could potentially build, right? Because not every suggestion could actually feasibly be built. Some of the stuff is just not possible with technology of these games, right? And since I built concepts for video games, I have a pretty good grasp on what you can and cannot do with the current engine limitations in a digging game, right? So, yeah, that's pretty much what I do. That's what I do. So mainly I'm feeding off of a bunch of your guys' stuff. That you, that's why I asked you guys so many questions, right? Well, yeah, you can't you can't add certain things because you do just have a performance budget, right? But there's ways to get around performance budgets. There's ways you can make it and uh, do certain things to add higher capabilities later on down the road. So, yeah, it's it's hard. It's a it's a difficult thing. Like he's in a he's in a tough spot. Yeah, it's like the constant request for a 288. People have no clue how big the thing is. Yeah, it's just stupidity. Add the 288. It's like, dude, do you how long have you played the game? Oh, I have like 20 hours into the game, bro. You don't even have enough time played to even have a 288 on a functioning mine site to even make it fun. You're going to be sitting there with so many pimples on your mine site. That 288 is going to be rocking around like a dumb shit. And then you're going to be rocking around the corner. And then all of a sudden you're going to be on the Steam forums bitching that the developer sucks. That's what these people are looking for. They don't understand what they're asking for. They just don't get it. They don't, they don't get it. They just want to play. They want to buy, consume, and that's it. All right? They don't, they don't get it. And they, they're not... Like I said, they're not wrong. I'm not bashing, right? Because that's what people want nowadays. They want to buy, play, and that's it. They don't care about all the little details and how, how all the pieces fit together or how difficult it actually is or why you might not be able to get something or things like that. They just don't give a shit. They don't know. It's not even that, I'm sorry. It's not even that they don't give a shit. I mean, that's a little harsh to say. It's, they just don't know what goes into it and why you can't have certain things. Like, most of the people can't even freaking doze in this game. Right? Like, 
Number one how to question how to play this game that people watch me split. How in the hell do you use the dozer the way that you use it? And I'm like, I'm looking in my head, I'm and I'm not trying to be rude. I'm like, how in the fuck can you not understand how to use the dozer? You're just pushing shit around. That's all you're doing. If you notice you're digging down too deep, stop doing it. <laughs> right? Like to me, it's I've been doing it for so long, right? It's like holy crap, right? Like, what the hell? <laughs> right? Like but I can't sit there and be a dick about it all the time because it's, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, because I want to help people. But it's, I sometimes, I'm stumped sometimes. I'm like, really? You're just like, it's like spreading peanut butter on a piece of bread, man. Right? <laughs> like, learn how to control your butter knife, damn it. <laughs> right? Control yourself. If you're too, if, if things are too aggressive, back off on your cutting edge. Lower, lift, lift your blade up a little bit and learn how to push a little bit. Don't try to go too hardcore. Right? You're trying to do too much in one shot. Right, you got baby steps, man. Baby steps, right? And then once you figure it out and you learn how to finesse the video game, then eventually you'll be able to do shit like I'm doing, right? It just takes time. Don't fight it. You're fighting yourself because you're trying to go too quickly. How do you use the dump truck? <laughs> no, I'm not talking. That is just a question I might not answer if somebody's like, how do you use a dump truck, dude? No. Oh, sorry. Stupid questions for the day office is closed you can file that in the i don't give a shit department <laughs> bill the furnace connor you are you know what connor dude you are a beast dude thank you much man damn it josh <laughs> <laughs> no yeah it's it's uh it's an interesting it's an interesting uh it's interesting yeah uh, yeah wheels up yeah that's how you use it yeah wheel you know, side up. <laughs> like everyone, a lot of people were asking me how to do, how do I make my cuts and stuff like that? You know what I mean? It's like, or how do I plan these mines to where I can mine them out like this and not get stuck in a corner? It's like, well, don't paint yourself into a corner. Do you know that what that means? Like, think of that. You have to have a way out and you have to have a way in. So think about that from the beginning and then dig outward, right? So if you always have access in and out, you're fine. You can do whatever the hell you want. You don't really have to do anything crazy. You just have to plan how to get in and out of something. Right? So you don't need to be a master at setting up open pit mines. You just got to have that one simple concept of I need a way in and I need a way out from the whole beginning. And you protect your way in and you protect your way out. You just have to think in the future where this is going. Right? Where is it going? Why is it going there? You know, so to speak, right? But people... It's like I said, that's the overwhelming factor, right? That's why it would be nice to have a an area on a giant map, which is like an already done, ready to ready to mine mine, right? Where the new players can come in and go, okay, cool, man. Uh, Uncle Uncle Jim's mine. He he's hurt and he's injured, and we got to go over here and and help out Uncle Jim uh, run his mine, and we got to get those numbers up. We got we got to get this so much going here. And that's part of a quest and it's a whole mind site, right? It's like 20 hours of gameplay, something like that, right? Where these new players can jump in and get, okay, this is how you use the loader. Oh, cool, cool, this is what I gotta do. I gotta dig this section out. Oh, I gotta put it in a box over here and it's already done for you, right? No guessing, let them play for like 10 or 15 hours doing these little quests on these little claims that are already predetermined, you know what I mean? Like that's what the new players need. They need this, they need a, they need a helping hand with a little bit of a storyboard to kind of help them out, right? We're veterans like a lot of us. We just need, here's your starting cash. Uh, okay, we can buy a parcel and it's big and massive and we got to get ourselves there and then we got to start trucking our equipment and then there's no, there's no handholding. You know what I mean? All right, there's no handholding. Figure it out. You'll, you'll figure it out, <laughs> right? Where end game would be kind of like what I'm doing now. You already got all the biggest equipment. You got a big thing. You're making your own cool project. You're away from the whole questing system. You're only using like a town structure to sell things, export goods. But I like to hold hands. Holding hands is pretty fun sometimes. Unless you got sweaty ass hands like I do, then it's not. You know, I feel sorry for Dopey. She has to like hold on to a, a pair of like sweaty bananas when we hold hands in, in public and stuff. I think the I think the 
like the perfect scenario would be really good town and like a like a, a claim like i'm talking about for a novice easy mode starting tutorial and then non-tutorial would be none of that story mode for is forced on you you just start into the map there it is boom you're in a town your guy's sitting your guy's sitting in a truck and the story kind of happens and you know there you go boom start out head on over to the machine shop you know check out what you got buy some shit and then move on from there Take a small parcel. I, I my, my my opinion, and not everybody shares this opinion. I feel like the early part of this game should be placer gold mining, because I really do. I think it'd be a good transition into the game. You know, you're starting out with like a little pickaxe, like we do now. You got some sluice boxes. You're making some money. You start getting some bigger equipment. You can buy bigger wash plants. And you're because you're not deep into bedrock yet. You're super far away from bedrock, you know, in theory, right? You're super far away. That's that's a lot of bed. That's a lot of pay dirt and stuff to get down to get into bedrock, right? So by the time you make your first million or two, then you can really make some decisions. But the game needs to be balanced properly to do stuff like that, right? So, but I think the game, I think early game should be mainly about gold. Because we have a lot of pay dirt to chew up, right? And players can learn a lot in that period of time. The map and parcels would be cool. Yeah, with static parts we can't dig up. That's pretty much what I've been suggesting for quite a while. But that'll most likely be something that would happen in Unreal 5. Like I said, and I don't want this game to become like Gold Rush or anything. I just think that that would be a really good way to start the game. For the first, you know, X amount of of hours and grinding and, and working your way up and, and stuff like that right and then later on down the road you could go down a different path and say okay i want to i want to start buying the heavy production pieces and build these cool big plants like we do now and move into uh like coal mining yeah you're building your company in the start of the game right pretty much what it is you gotta build your company by building your company you're not gonna go and be a billion dollar coal miner right off the bat right <laughs> like that really depends on where the story story arc of the game and, and what we do and how we do it and i'm i'm excited to see where the game's gonna go right i really am excited to see i'm not pushing for it i suggested stuff like that and that's where i'm gonna leave it right if it doesn't i don't care it's not a big deal right the game's gonna be what it's gonna be that's why i love having these discussions and chats about what what the game could be or what 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 it could you know what i mean because you never know it, we the game could be everything that we we are talking about right now all right we don't know it's just the fun thing is, is that we do have the ability and the hope that it's going it, to, we could get something, right? Like, because that, that's for, for me, honestly, that's where I, for me, honestly, that is where I felt I had the most fun is doing what we're doing right now at this exact moment. I'm playing the game and we're all having a good time and we're all being positive about the outcome of the game in the future right that's i have the most fun dude that's when i have a lot of fun i like doing that i miss those days and that's why i'm so happy to be streaming a game that makes me feel like that and a community that makes me feel like that right so yeah it's been good like i said it's been great man oh shit connor you're right i need to go back up there let me uh yeah drop a save as well too that decay and fill in. Oh. Has Christian let his end vision of the game out or has he kept it to himself? Um, only a handful of people like myself know exactly what the game should be or is kind of, but it's never, it's never, it's never really been, I know what is, is most likely coming. Like, because but then again that's you have to take everything with a grain of salt because one minute it could change to the next right so something else changes nope we're scrapping that and it changes right so but he did say he said quite a few times on the q a's that the game is nothing right now the game is like nothing compared to where it's gonna be his vision of the game 
You heard a rumor. Can network play with others and out of war? Is that any? Tr is that true? What do you mean? Elaborate a little bit more. Save. Oh, via, via, yeah, Christian already stated that a long time ago. Uh, he did it here in the channel. He dropped that information. The game is not going to be. Hey, take it easy, bag. The game is not going to be on dedicated servers. He did confirm that in uh, the live stream quite a while ago. Uh, Dash was during season four. He confirmed that, that the game will be peer to peer. So your host will, will open it up and it'll run off of their computer. This isn't going quite yet then? Wait, wait, what? Sorry. Going quite yet then? What do you mean? Okay, we're at 900. Let's go and keep stacking. Boom. We got some gold. Here to peer play? No. Here to peer is the multiplayer that he's talking about. That's coming. Who in the hell is making all these rumors? Like, Jesus, dude. WTF, man. Fucking people, I swear. What do I do with the painter with the painter in my inventory with the pickaxe? I'll show you here in a second. Thanks. Cool. All right, so see these workbenches right here? You can take pay dirt if you click on this. It does it does uh, gold, but see how it says it requires five pay dirt. Put it in here, and then it'll tell you how much time it has to process that. Yeah, boy. That's what you do with pay dirt. You can do that. That's one thing you do with pay dirt in your hand. Yeah, and the details about multiplayer, I cannot share. And if you're hearing it from somebody else, they are probably full of shit. <laughs> when, well, not probably, they are full of shit. So unless you heard it from Christian or myself, or one of their one of their people, but I don't think they'd be giving that information out. So. No, I'm not giving that information out. They may, they may, you may have heard, you may have been hearing it from people that misheard or are wording it different than I said it. That is a very common thing that happens. All right, so people, I'll say something, and then that person will say it different than I said it, and then the rumor mill starts, <laughs> right? So it's like, oh my gosh. 
you know, the whole scenario of the whole phone tag situation. You say it to this person, they say it to that, and then they say it to this, and eventually at the end, it's nothing, nowhere even close to the same thing. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, Jim is now named Bill at the end of the story. That's why I'm asking here. I'm just curious who is doing it. I don't know why they're doing it, but they need to fucking stop. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, dude, the, the, the wildest shit I've been hearing lately. I'm like, what? I never said that. What are you talking about? <laughs> Type of situation, right? I never said that. <laughs> Not sure who you heard it from. Sorry. Yeah. Have I dinked around with it? Yes, I have. I have dinked around with it. But there is only a handful of us that have. And I can guarantee you, none of them are streamers other than myself. And if they are telling it, they should probably get their rights stripped away from them. Yeah, people people misread into what I say or they try to find they try to find people you, you guys see how much people constantly try to push me for information and stuff I can't talk about. Right, so so they'll they'll have a question and I'll I'll vaguely answer it to, to what I can, NDA wise, and then they'll just make up the rest. Right, and then that way they have something to spill to their viewers, or they think that they're spilling to their viewers, and it's nowhere close to even the facts. That's actually what's happening right now during the rebrand of Gold Rush, the rebrand, it's happening in a massive way when 99% of it's not true at all. It's just a rebrand, and people are freaking out. <laughs> right, like it just goes to show you that people will just make shit up. They don't care. They just they want to make shit up because they want to be the guy that. Everybody's looking to for the information and they're not the guy, right? Because the guys that got the information, we can't say shit. So suck it. Can't say nothing. Other than what Christian has said publicly, that's the only thing I can say. Same thing with the, the GR devs, the GMS devs. call that fishing for, for information i heard yeah no nah, people do it to me have been doing it to me for years with uh gold rush and now without a war right so But Split said, I never said that. What talking about? <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> What's up, Mike? I mean, I mean, everybody who fights to want to be in the know. I understand. I get it. I get it. Everybody wants to be that dude that, like, you know, I get it. I understand. Like, people, you, you guys saw, man, you know? Maybe you have seen over the years, you know, people come in split. Why, are you, why is it only you that gets to do these things? Cause I fucking have earned it. I'll be honest, man. I've earned it. I've busted my ass over the years and the shit that I do and the development and the, and the friendship that I make with these developers and uh, the trust that they have in me to, you know, do what I do. Tell you one thing, no, you need to know how to operate <laughs> barely.
I've always done it for the betterment of the community in the game. All right, so is that you know? Like I said, like the game, love the game. Ignorance is bliss. Yeah. The downside to being a content creator and someone that loves these games is that sometimes you get too much hands on with them and they become a, they become a drag and you're already burnt out on the content before it even drops. People don't understand that. Everybody wants to be a tester because they say that they want to help the game or the games, but realistically what they want 90% of the time is they just want to see how everything works. They want to see it early. And they want to be a part of it and they want to mold the game. That's 99% never the case. <laughs> never. That's not how it works. Not how it works, boys. Testing sucks ass. It sucks. It sucks. Complete butthole. Why? Because you can do all this work for nothing sometimes when the developers already have a build that's already past what you already have so the testing is complete ass you'll want to rip your hair out constantly it's not fun you will ruin a game for yourself most of the time when you become a tester it will not be your favorite thing to do in the world anymore you will absolutely fucking despise it progress here today buddies this is straight facts right right it is what it is all it as i see it man I think this is Christian's main... I don't think he goes to many other channels and leaks information like he does here. <laughs> I'll be honest, dude. Like, he leaks some juicy-ass information yesterday. I mean, damn, boys. Right? So not only are we getting the next gen... Not only are we getting the next gen, but we're also getting a new version of the dirt as far as the uh, equipment goes. Hmm. Anywho, so what cut am I working on today? So I am still, this is still the damnation cut as, as far as the whole thing, right? But it's not really a cut, it's just more I have to get rid of the stuff, so I'm just running it, right? Because it's worth money to build the project. So this is the damnation cut in a hole, but this is the boot cut in the damnation cut. The boot. Because the shape of it looked like a boot in the beginning. No, they, well, yeah, this is the, oh, I'm, dude, the cut today was all over where that loader, the cut wall was over there. Like, where, that, where the, uh, sorry, where the, um, the side of that box was, the cut was over there. Now it's all the way back over here. The reason why I'm able to go so fast today and I've made so much progress today is because I need to restock my pay dirt, uh, with the way I'm doing my save, right? So, the viewer challenge. So, I can move a lot faster when I'm just dumping into a box like this when I'm collecting pay dirt for my factory and then when I'm, that's full then it, then I have to go back to trucking it up the hill so just so I can accumulate more money because the save would have taken a thousand hours to complete we're, we're trying to get it done before 700 hours I would like to get it done before 700 
I would I would eventually like to see season five. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Come on, me. What's going on here? Come on, damn it. Thank goodness. How oh, effing time. Holy hell. Look more like a wiener than a boot. Okay, whatever. You know what? Trust me. Trust me, though. I've never, I've never not done it. I will be showcasing it for you guys. Christian already said yes. We are doing a big event day for when this stuff drops. And I will be putting out all, you know, he, obviously he'll be doing his thing. But when it comes time and he lets me loose, I will show you guys as much as he will allow me to show. Like I always have done. Right, so. Just gotta be patient. Just gotta be patient, boys. You know what I mean? Right now, I can tell you right now, it won't be soon. So enjoy the ride, <laughs> right? Enjoy the ride, dudes. Have fun, play the game. Don't worry about the little things too much. Like King was saying, little cook, get it done. And we got five o'clock. Okay. I am just going slow today, but that is a good thing. And it's in our favorites. We are cooking. We're cooking here today. Damn right. We're moving, moving some dirt. Not much. Lawson, what's up to you, buddy? Got off work. I take it. That time. Hey, Tatico, what's up, buddy? And Raiders, what's up, guys? I'm back, Queen, with the 100 bitties. Appreciate that, guys. Hopefully, you guys stream went good the rest of your stream. You made progress. Well, I went in today right before stream, hoping to see you putting down water blocks. But no, it's highly disappointed, man. I'm just kidding. Yeah, hopefully, you guys, hopefully, you made progress on your save today. You getting moving? Good to see. Beautiful water blocks. Let me let me stop this stupid ad that's trying to come into place here. Get out of here, ads. Stop it. We just had a raid. Not a good time to put ads. Come on, Twitch. Learn what's going on here. Get with the program, Twitch. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to placing my water blocks. You want you want to do my three hundred four hundred thousand that I gotta do? <laughs> sure, as long as it's under a million. Uh, if I if I was to just add it up roughly. 
I probably got, I got maybe, a, eh, yeah, probably. It's probably close to a million water blocks. <laughs> That's my limit. Keep pounding, bro. Get it done. Yes, yeah, sir. Just got off work. Hell yeah, bud. That's your limit. Yeah, I'm uh, probably looking. At, it'll probably be close to a million. I, d I don't even want to admit that, but it's going to be close. Probably. Maybe less. I hope less. I hope way less. I hope my, my numbers are off. I'm going to see if I can bribe Christian with like a... Just, just like buy him like a year's worth of chicken nuggets for like a 10 by 10 water block. Just have him added in real quick. You know, before I have to do it. You know what I mean? Throw, throw some of that streamer bribe in his way. I know it's your Discord is can't hide. Yeah, your your stupid uh, your stupid hacked account tried to uh, get me and Dopey and a couple other people today, so I had to ban I banned your old account from Discord. There, Randy. That's why you watch on YouTube. No ads. Yeah. Did you rewatch the stream? Yeah. Yep. I let I let YouTube go wild on it afterwards because why not, right? But during the live stream, no, I turn. I don't let I don't let uh, YouTube play ads at all. And that is that's brought to you because you guys are amazing and drop ridiculous amounts of gifteds and stuff like that. So yeah, it's kind of like a perk if you guys are smashing it out and hunting grays out throughout the month. I turn that stuff off. So you you'll always get a uh, you'll always get an ad when you first come into the stream. I, I can't get rid of those. Pater? No, that's not Pater. That, that is, uh, that is Pater, yes. But yeah, it's, uh, I'm not looking forward to that part of the, but that's all finishing work, right? Like, I'm so far away from putting all the finishing work in the water and stuff like that. Yeah, those aren't long, and most of them are skippable, right? So. Most of them are skippable and you just kind of bump past them. It's her, I hope this dirt issue gets fixed. Like I said, I was chatting with him today about it and he said he's going to look into it. Um, and see what's going on with the, uh, the dirt popping around. So as well as some of the other things you guys have addressed as well. So had a good, had a really good chat with him today, uh, earlier this morning. That's why I was actually late. So uh, I missed the first part of your stream yesterday about, uh, Friday's news is going to, uh, is it like a Q and a no. So, so yesterday, a lot of people have been asking me to do another Q and a with Christian, but me and Christian have been just so busy. That's, and we've both felt like it didn't warrant a Q and a, like we used to like a podcast, just me and him sitting there chilling and chatting. And, um, we wanted to, we want to do a bigger event when that time comes and really just have like a, a really good, uh, Q and a, and, you know, cause he was like, did you do a really good job of the showcases? There's no real need for me to even be there. Um, and so, you know, we're going to, we're going to try to do an event when the, the big stuff drops not the little stuff right so that way he's like you know i don't want to take time away from you i know you i know the viewers love the q and a's but and it's like yeah so we might so that's why he just stops in the stream answers a couple questions here and there and stupid twitch listen up here bro stop that yeah so th this friday is i mean yeah so we don't we don't have anything planned i will definitely let you guys know way in advance because we like to advertise that stuff like at least a week in advance like that we're doing a q and a so we can give you guys time to uh prepare questions and things like that right and this time we're gonna do it after we're gonna do it after the patch is dropped a couple days after so that way you guys can come in and you're not just sitting there waiting to see what it is before the patch gets launched launched so we're do we're gonna be doing it after the patch is launched this time so and probably into the future so we'll be doing them after it's just a way to get to talk to christian directly and you hear his voice and 
and stuff like that, right? So it's more podcast than anything. And me and him are just me and him are literally just shooting the shit with you guys is really what it is. And I'm trying to poke him for as much information as I can get out of him for you guys. <laughs> <And> he's just <laughs> not happening today, split. Like, damn it. <laughs> so what you mean is <laughs> I love doing that to him. So what you mean is we're getting this. See if he's gonna see it suckered into it. <laughs> Yo, what's up so far? Is it solid rock or bedrock? I, I would be hitting solid rock. It's solid rock is what we de definitely, you know, definitely, definitely call bedrock in this game. So. <clears throat> yeah, so that that's kind of the plan going forward. But right now, it's uh, Christian's just working really hard. And uh, just wait for the um, the little showcase things that he does on Friday. And when it gets closer for me to jump in and do my work, then he'll set me loose like I always have. So we'll, uh, and I'll make sure I bring you guys all that juicy information and stuff that you guys want to see. See, you know, <laughs> when it's ready. Or when it's close to getting to you guys, right? Give you that, give you that. I, I'm going to try to get a week out of him this time instead of like two, three days because that puts a lot of pressure on me. To get all that stuff done in, in less than like a day and a half um you know so yeah i want to make sure that like the showcases look good they make sense i can teach you guys how to play with the new stuff and anything that might be there and that's pretty much my goal of making the showcases and how i do them now Like even the uh, the DLC, you see how we have different rocks. I didn't have those, so we were still doing the DLC work and stuff like that be up until that whole point, All right? So that's why those rocks didn't make it into my uh, my my hype trailer or my hype teasers and stuff like that in the streams and stuff. And then I didn't want to show them until I did, I did show them right right before the release of the rock, the new rocks. Oop, we got more rocks to play with yeah we got more rocks uh i'm gonna try i'm gonna try and uh boost up that amount of rocks i have a big list of stuff a bit i have a big list of stuff for the deco pack and uh some ideas uh for you guys i think you guys will really like and i'm gonna submit them to him when time's ready so because right now what we have we should be we should have like 10 times what we have right now in scale as well the stuff that we have right now is tiny we need we need bigger stuff right and we use less of them right so same 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 theory is the water block our rocks need to be you know 10 10 you know 10 of them at a crack or bigger they're just too small for the scale of this game we don't need to be using 400 rocks you know what i mean so <laughs> we need 100 by 100 water block just asking for a friend no, that's, I mean, y y yes, yes and no. I mean, I would prefer that they design a new feature, but then the, but the water blocks are, are deco. Uh, it'd be nice to see where you could click it and then just drag it and then it places them with every, however many you have in your thing, right? So if you clicked and you placed one and you just ran in click mode and then it would just bloop and it pop like a hundred and crack would be would be really nice but that's a whole different build mode feature that they'd have to build to do just that for the water blocks so it would just be easier for them to just build like say a 10 by 10 block or 100 you know but whatever or just give us a water plane that's big give us like four or five different water planes that are like a thousand blocks equivalent that we could just snap into the grid and then fill water blocks around it to make up for the little spots to mash up for it right that was that's what I originally suggested, but Christian, I think he was already running down the path of the water blocks. So Yo, what's up, Sam? What water work like? Uh, I mean, like, water in Minecraft? No. Water, it, to get dynamic, well, those those Minecraft videos, is that what you're referring to? That are, like, dynamic water where it's, like, flowing down and stuff. Like, can you even do that? Automated, yeah, but it's automated water.
yeah right now it's purely decorative to do to do flowing water i don't think i see that in minecraft on anything other than videos i don't think i've never seen people i've never seen that fluid water in anybody's gameplay other than rendered videos that took forever to render frame by frame i've never seen dynamic fluid water that actually looks good because it kills computers A million. Nope, there's a lot of things that you can do. There's a lot of stuff that you can do. To uh mimic water planes and things like that in these type of games. Lots of stuff you can do. Okay, we're at the topic here. Take a second, I need a break. Looking anyways. Gotta chat with you guys for a second here. Green. Let's see what I got. There we go. Like, for instance, here's a water plane that I did for a concept for a dredging game that I built and sold. Showed this before, but here I'll show you again. Right? So... This is what it looks like when you're building something. There's actually nothing in between... Nothing in between this area, right? Underneath the thing. Sorry, I can't see my pointer, but... So, as a basic concept for, like, a voxel world, you see the brown tan, then you see the water, and you see, like, an object that can float in the water, and it speaks. So, technically, this is what you'd want to see from a water plane, right? And instead of it just being a building block, we just have a big water plane that we could snap into the grid. And boom. Blah, 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 damn. Awesome. Holy crap. Because once you have that snappable mesh that is a blueprint, you can then snap that blueprint into something that looks like this. And then you can do, once you change the values, you can do this, right? So this is the swimming portion under that water that I just showed in that last picture, right? So there's nothing actually there, but the character is just floating in suspension, but it looks because the camera effects that I added make it look like I'm under the water. And I have current and buoyancy, I have things that affect the ground. Yeah, I can still dig in voxel, right? So there's many ways you can trick these, trick the players into believing that something that's not there. Because if you look at it again, we go back to this, there's nothing under there, right? There's nothing under that ocean. There's nothing there other than the rocks that are into that, embedded into that layer. But that is what you see as the player, right? And all the attributes that I tied to it. And then this is what you see from the surface on like a world that's kind of done already in a basic form, you see something like that, right? You can kind of, there's nothing under that there. There's nothing. You don't, you don't see it unless the camera goes under, then the camera changes to this, right? So that's the shit I'm talking about, right? So it's, it's uh, water planes can be done very, very, very easily. And, uh, it's just however the developers want to do it, right? Realistically what it is. Yeah, that all that stuff could come into, uh, do out of war, right? It could all come into out of war. not it's not not possible right so i would like to see water handled that way but however they're going to come and do it is is two different things right 
Like I'm a different type of designer than Christian is and world map makers are different than coders and things like that, right? Yeah, that's old concepts, by the way, of stuff I've done years and years ago. Years and years and years and years ago. Some old ass concept stuff. Yeah, I would like to see a. I'd like to see a water, a water uh, mesh like that, where we can snap in. Heck, heck with these one block at a time crap. Gosh damn it! <laughs> right? <laughs> oh. I want a thousand blocks. Chat just died and it's dead. <laughs> what, what were you showing us? What? What happened? It's had so much fun with the one by one blocks. I wish you could have smaller blocks too. <laughs> Never. <laughs> nope. Now I'm exporting. Great. Okay. Look, jump right into an export. Yeah, let's go. Good one. Yeah, I'm curious. Like, I've submitted all this stuff to Christian, right? You know? Like, this is how it's done. This is how you can do it. You know? Have fun. Go wild with it. You know? There's something about water. Forgot to pay attention. Yep, we got water blocks now. I mean, Christian did say yesterday, too. He did say in the chat, he did say that tailings, ponds, and stuff like that would be coming. They are on the list of things. So that means pumps and probably stuff like that are coming, too. Wash plants and things like that. Mmm, baby. Oh man, look at this though. Look how much progress. Oh man, this makes me feel so much better. Holy hell. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to like dredging and shit. Like if that, whenever that stuff eventually comes, I know we, he's already said he was just gonna put it in. It's just when, I, when, right? So obviously that stuff's gonna come after probably MP and stuff like that, right? There's no way he's gonna put shit like that in before. He's got his hands for it now. That's gonna be sick though, dude. Can't can't wait to see uh, how he actually does it all and is a uh, version of what it, how it works and it would nice be it'd be nice to go inside of a inside of a river and start like suctioning out between big boulders and stuff right like a little teeny sluice box and a little teeny uh dread just floating Yeah, I'm a shit disturber. <laughs> oh, man. You guys only knew. <laughs> oh, I like stirring the pot. Uh, 
Yeah, let's keep pushing here. Let's see, what do we got here? What time is it? Five, almost 5.30? Yeah, I've I've yet to hit the bedrock yet, or AKA solid rock. And it's let's see that hole right there. We're down about four meters roughly, so we might hit some back here. Doubt it though. Hey, Virginia son, man. Do you thank you much for that, uh, that prime, man. Appreciate that, dude. Coming over here to Twitch and doing that. Much love, dude. Yeah, all that stuff's gonna be crazy, though, if we get stuff like that, right, man? I can't wait to see that stuff. I cannot wait, dude, to see stuff like that in this game. Like, heavy, like, this stuff, like, digging, excavator, stuff like that, it's cool and all. But I want to see some fully working other stuff. We've seen, we've been doing a lot of heavy equipment stuff and a lot of these other stuff for a while. We need some more unique stuff, right? We need some dredges. How will the two, how will the 288 come on with that crap, guys? A 288, really? You'd rather have a 288 than like a dredge? Right? Like you guys would rather have a 288 over a dredge? Question for all you guys in chat. Would you rather have a 288 or would you rather have like dredges and shit like that? I would rather have dredges than a 288. A 288 does not seem like really very fun gameplay. I think just setting up the mine to run a 288 would be better than actually running a 288. The big giant freaking bucket wheel excavator thing. It's massive. A dredge and small portable dredges too? Yeah, and like rivers? I'd much rather see that than a gigantic freak show of a, a 288, a bagger. <laughs> that gameplay seems boring, to be honest. Let's just sit here and wiggle back and forth, bruh. <laughs> seems lame. Yeah, I agree. Anything bigger is kind of meh. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about anything bigger. I think what we got is fine. I don't, I don't need bigger equipment. I want cool other types of way of mining, like a water monitor, like, right? That'd be sick. Like a little trailer we pull up to the site and then like we can just sit and start hosing down and it just deletes pretty much in a sense. We see a little water jet coming out, a little bit of water animations. We have water pressure for like, if we want to shoot far farther, we got to have a stronger pump and uh, we can just delete overburden with it. Just hose it, hose it down and like clean off cuts and stuff. That'd be sick. I'd much rather see that stuff like that than like a 288. Much rather see that stuff. Dredge for sure. Yeah, bridge. I mean, you got tailing spawns and such, make a dredge. Makes sense. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, I mean, obviously. Okay. So if he's saying that he's adding tailing ponds, hmm, you know what I mean? Hmm. That means we're going to have to deal with water management, which is good. I, th I hope it's, it's a banger, right? I hope it's just like, hell yeah. It's for placer mining. Tailing ponds are super important aspect. Right, you're pretty much just you're pretty much just filtering your water, and your soft silts and stuff like that are going down into your tailings pond, and then it cleans it all up as it goes through, and then you pump it back in, right, to your system. So, curious, interesting. I'm all for a water monitor for the dam overburden, hundred percent, dude. I could go over the side of that hill over there and just start water monitoring all that shit off of there. And then just expose the pay dirt and then start mining it. You know what I mean? That'd be fantastic. That's relatively not that hard for him to make. If you think about it, if you think about it, think about it real quick. Let's, let's just, let's just think about it. 
You see what the pickaxe does, right? Watch this. And you're going to laugh. This is what the pickaxe does, right? Okay. Take the pickaxe tool. Right. Make a little truck. Put a nozzle in it. And be able to sit back here. Spray water. It does the pickaxe. <laughs> Right? But you don't collect anything. And it only can delete the overburden layer. GG. Take my money. Right? Like, it is that simple. I'm not shitting you guys. But sometimes people overcomplicate shit. It really is. We have all the tools ready for it. You know what I mean? It, 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 just think about it. Use your noodle. Give us a cool water spraying effect and how hard is it to code only overburden? Easy. Once it because that's a different state, right? So the overburden is a different state than the, the thing. So if you're pointing it at something that it's not supposed to delete, you just don't give it the cutting ability. It's literally a checkbox. It's literally one check of a checkbox. Or I want a Draymite machine gun. <laughs> So a water monitor would be a really good addition to the game. But I think I wouldn't want, I want to see, I don't want just a water thing you can run around and hook it up to a truck because that's kind of cornball. I want to see pumps, hoses, rivers, and like, you know, piping like how Gold Rush did it, where you had to like connect the hoses to the pump and make sure you have the water pressure to get to certain distance. I want to see that shit, dude. That's what I want to see. What's up, Peaky? What's up, King? been a while king how you doing buddy you know what i mean that's what i want to see to go uh, in addition to a water monitor right even if it was just like hey we had a tailings pond even if we had a tailings pond right that we made ourselves out of water blocks as long as we put the pump near it and then ran the cables like how gold rush did it we could stress and, and also you know other games have done it too i'm just saying because that's just what we're all used to right so if we could run it and use connectors and, and drag the hoses places and connect everything up, I would say that would be kind of cool. But then again, then that would paywall it to the water blocks. Yeah, Gold Wars did it really good. Cables and such. Ex yeah, exactly. That's the only reason why I say it. But people hate when I do that, though. That's why I try not to. But you know what I mean? But it is true. They did a good job. Did a good job. So why not use it as a reference, right? I think I think if they could do it like Gold Rush did with the pumps and hoses... And cables, like power cables, winning ticket right there. Then just add a water monitor onto it, and that would be a whole new game. Dude, I'd be, you know how fun it would be just to sit there and just get a baked, I mean, just just sit there and just water monitor off all these, like, all this overburden? <laughs> That'd be amazing. Would like to see cables? Yeah. I mean, I know they're on the to-do list. Uh, it, it literally, I think on the to-do list, it literally says pumps and hoses like Gold Rush because it's been suggested so many times. It's been suggested so many damn times. Doing better now? Back from a five-week exercise. Damn, bro. That's what you were saying. You were going to be gone for a little while. I think that would be a relatively easy thing for him to develop and put into the game and give us a lot of stuff. I've never I've never worked with like hoses and, and stuff like that, but it doesn't seem like it's that hard of an asset to use. I've seen the asset that he can use and he just has to reskin the model and it's literally should just be plug and play. That'd be great though, man. How much of a game changer would that be, dudes? actually having to run power to our our production system and fuel it up with diesel and stuff that we make and or buy like this little thing down here wouldn't work if we had to use power right and I had to put a little generator next to it and then plug it in with a cable because the hopper belt wouldn't work 
But hell yeah, dude. That's I'm, that's what I want to see. I want to see that shit, dude. All that little stuff, man. I want to see that stuff. Even though we don't have to play with it too much, but every once in a while I have to go over and fill up my generator. You know what I mean? And, and be like, oh, or, or, you know what I mean? Because it's like, you know, oh, the generator ran out. The hopper's not taking ore anymore. Okay, well, gotta go over and put some fuel on it. Bedtime here, man. Hey, take it easy, brother. And thank you much for that raid again, dude. Appreciate that, man. Keep up all the hard work, buddy. If you guys don't know who Tatico is, make sure you guys go over and give him a follow. I think you're on Twitch, dude. Make sure you go and give him some, uh, give him some lovings, dudes. He's been definitely helping out the, uh, the out of war community. It's good to see more people helping out and, uh, just generally just being cool to the community. Some type of anim uh, automation with the smelter and sorting system to break down the ores more. You mean like in the, in the crafting system or the production system? What's up, big? How you doing, man? Never played Gold Rush, uh, but Rusty have a system of setting up power, love the settings, and stuff like all the switches and solar panels and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I don't want to see. I don't. I don't. I don't think you should have to know like logic systems and stuff like that to be able to do this. I don't. I don't think that needs to go that far. That's why I think Gold Rush did it well. Plug it into power. Do this. Do you have enough power? No. Yes. No. <laughs> right. <laughs> Keep it simple. Right. Can't make things too complicated. People get confused. Some type of automations for smelting and stuff. I mean, did I don't think he said he was not trying to go to the automation side of it. More versus just a bigger sort thing into different storages. We we already do have that in a way, Vito, but it's just broken at the moment. Um, so we already have that in a sense, but it's it is broken. The trauma and stuff like that it doesn't really work as. It should and right now the the what the production system is very basic it always has been uh, Christian has said that uh, the whole production system and stuff like that will be getting reworked uh, it's just not a priority right now it's working good enough to get by so they can continue to work on the rest of the game right but yes yeah, so eventually we we should have the ability to sort into different categories we used to it used to, it, in the very back in the beginning, for a brief time, we were able to uh, see what was, at least see what was running through the plant, right? And all that stuff was getting taken away. So all the all the UI was taken away. I mean, sort like iron from lithium and aluminum into each storage box type. Uh, yeah, I think, I think eventually it will be that way. He will eventually do that. But I'm also thinking that he might be going into separate type of mining as well. Because lithium mining is different than other types of mining. It's just not all in one, all encompassing. Right, so there might be different extractor pieces where we probably, if I'm just guessing here, uh, that um, we're in the guessing phase right now. I'm, I'm assuming that each phase of the game, like coal mining and stuff like that, will have its own separate piece that works specific to that. Yeah, no, it's definitely, it's definitely going to come. It's definitely, it's definitely going to come. It's just, um, yeah, there's just right now, like I've been saying, like a million, it, it sucks. I, I, I hate having to say it all the time, but... Cause we're in such we're not in early access but you know what i mean right like it's everything's a concept right now and everything's up for change and and you know so everything like the production system right now is more satisfactory-esque i would say and i can see why everybody wants sorting to the extreme um i don't think we even know if that's his real vision of how he wants the game to be Right, because he keeps saying the game's supposed to be, you know what I mean? He keeps saying the game is supposed to be real, but the way the production stuff is set up right now, it's f completely against that. You know what I mean? That is the production system right now is way satisfactory, and it's, it's so far it's so far into fantasy that it's not into reality. So I'm not sure as well myself because a lot of that stuff is still being worked on that I can't talk about. You know what I mean? I have to, I have to skirt the lines. You know what I mean? Like, I'm waving down that line of NDA path. You know what I mean? <laughs> so. I don't, also, too, it's not that he, he wouldn't care if I accidentally leaked something. Why he would matter, why he would care is because he doesn't want people to get their hopes up for something. And he might not be able to, to, to deliver it, right? 
So that way it gives them the ability as a buffer to kind of back, go, go back and go, okay, no, I don't want to do this. And it gives them time to change it before it gets out into the public, right? So like, he wouldn't give a shit. Like, I don't, you know what I mean? Like, he, he, he's not like that. But, and I, I understand why, you know what I mean? So I try to be very careful with what I say. But also to give you guys the most amount of hope and stuff like that as possible because I know that these type of games are a grind and I know you guys are looking for that, that, okay, cool, man, nice. You know what I mean? Like, I, I know for, I know. I've been, I've been doing this for so long and I understand a lot of you guys are just waiting, man. You guys are super patient, right? And you guys are just hoping, you know, like, is somebody listening kind of thing? Yes, they are listening. Yes, I am listening. And yes, we do discuss these things. So, yep, I just have to be careful. <laughs> <laughs> just gotta be careful, you know? Yeah. A lot of stuff is on the uh, the thing. Like, for me, for me personally, um, I've taken my attention away. F I used to be very focused on the... on the, the production side of this. And then I've pulled myself away because they're not really in that development path at the moment, right? So... Hey, Kohler, dude, thank you much for that... Uh, Apollo, appreciate that. Yeah, so I've kind of like I've had to pull myself away from it, but there's so many missing holes in the production system right now that need to be kind of tweaked and stuff. We'll be hearing when questions every hour. Then, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. What when's it coming out? When, dude? I mean, I'm excited for all the stuff that the conversation I had with him today. Out of courtesy, how many people work on Out of War? I think there's about five people that actually have. I, I think. I, I think. There's a couple guys like T Bone and uh, Dark, if you see him in the community, and uh, the NMC, Christians. I think there's like four or five, possibly. I don't, I don't know because I don't really ask you know what i mean because I, and i know a lot of these people don't work i think full time for him but i'm not sure you know what i mean i still can't find the dlc it's installed it's not in the shop it's installed into your game uh hit p buildings and then decoration and it'll be under decoration so buildings decoration right there they mine deco dlc if it's installed You might need to reset your steam. Might need to close game, reset, or close steam and open steam back up if something's weird. You'll see it in your DLC list under options for the game if, if it's installed. You can either turn it off or turn it on. They drain aquifers for lithium mining. Dude, yeah, it's, uh, there's some crazy mining techniques. And, and you can tell he really, really wants to be the mine. The mining for these different materials, you can tell he really does want to make everything kind of separate, right? You do not have a decorations tab. I just rebooted the game and verified the files. And you and it says that it's installed in the, the project things. Hmm. Send uh you're gonna have to send a bug report in. I think you're the only person that I've seen that's uh, said that they've had that issue. You're definitely gonna have to send Christian a, uh, just send him a DM, man. Just send, just send him a DM and be like, hey, um, just take a screenshot and be like, yo, see, I, I have it installed, but then I don't have it in game. And uh, see what he says about it, because that would be something that he would have to look into. On why. Yeah, like when I was running season three, I was I was all up and down the wash plant and how it was working and what it was doing and how it was reacting to things and values. And I made quite a bit of suggestions to the to the actual process of everything. And like for some for, for instance, if you're parked underneath of a uh, 
it, if you if it's parked underneath like a, a chute the chute should have an on and off and it should also know when the rock truck is full to turn off the production automatically right so that way you're not wasting all this material and and stuff like that like little things like that right like little teeny details that are are really nice quality quality of life things like stuff like that like uh a, you know taking the uh equipment and then allowing it to do different things right so if i have a sorter i can be like okay i can sort i can go to the sorter walk over to the sorter and do like what you were saying big uh big you know that's what i was that's what i was you know so things like that right it's already been discussed but pretty much what christian told me back then was all these ideas are amazing and we definitely want to do them but right now we got other fish to fry right so and you know so that's that's not been that long ago I've written down all the old XP production steps, profit loss. Right now, it's just for fun. Dude, I stopped doing that, to be honest, because they change all the time. They change all the time. I stopped doing it. I was like, you know, I <laughs> if you have the time to do it, more power to you, bro. Because I'll tell you one thing, all that stuff's going to change. It will all change. But uh, for right now, it's... I don't know how long. It's probably going to be there for a little while, so you're good to go. Like, when I made my productions video... I worked on it for a while because so many people had a hard time with the productions. And then not even a week after I did the productions video, Christian effing changed it. Oh yeah, there, there's a lot of discrepancy bugs in the game right now as far as values, times, and uh, things like that, right? There's a lot. They're, they're not trying for perfect when it comes to those things at the moment. So... Because they will all be changed. That's, so that's just to kind of reiterate again. They're not trying to go for anywhere near perfect. Because they're going to change it, right? So there's no point in make, kicking all the time to make something, you know, quote unquote perfect. When they know they're just going to change it. Right? So they're just going to slop it in there real quick. And uh, get get moving. Maybe uninstall the game and reinstall the game. It says installed. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure. You you would definitely have to ask uh, Christian there, Scott. Just message him directly. Don't send. I'm not sure how fast he reads his bug reports. That uh, for the emails, I'm not sure. All right. So. That's why I call call people that write down all the stuff and do the spreadsheets. You guys are dirt nerds, man. People need to do that shit. <laughs> I am not a dirt. I I am a dirt nerd, but in a different way, man. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, so I appreciate people to take the time to go through and look and write down all the values because it's needed. Because people, some people, really want to know exactly the values so they can do the math how long things are going to take and uh, things like that. So definitely, yeah. Uh, being a dirt nerd is definitely a good thing. Damn nerds. Yep. I love my dirt nerds. Like I've been saying that for a long time, dude. If you're the type of guy that sits there when you play these games, do you pull out a fucking spreadsheet, dude? You're a dirt nerd. Straight up. You are a dirt nerd to the core. Then you got equipment humpers like me. We just jump in and say, get her done. Here's a beer. Let's go. I only do the values and stuff when I, when I have to. <laughs> like, you go through and make sure everything is stat. I'm like, gosh, damn it. I always hated doing that. I'm like, god oh, damn it. Or like the people that are playing video games like this that are literally just like stopping. And then you like, they grab their pencil and they start writing things down. It's like, dude, that's it. I'm turning you off. <laughs> that's it that's it done gone done gone now That's it. I'm taking out the whole rest of this bench with the front end loader. I've made my mind. 
doing it. Not progress I made today. Because you gotta think, when I hit bedrock on this cut, I'm gonna be hauling everything up the hill. When's the last time I washed this thing? Never. Christian hasn't given us a power washing uh, patch yet, so never. If he added repairs today and my equipment added all the same stuff, it'd probably just fall into a pile of dust. Tried to restart your PC and open the game back up. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Mine was automatically like bloop in once I turned dev, dev tools off. Yeah, the only way to do is just uh, send it back and bring it back. Yeah. I like it dirty. <laughs> hey, dig it easy, man. Thank you much for that prime, brother. Appreciate that, dude. Have a great night, dude. Build the furnaces. Connor, you are on it, dude. I appreciate it. Holy hell, dude. Connor's been like on par with reminding me to fill my furnaces. <laughs> He's like, I need to see that war chest grow split. <laughs> we need money. Damn right we do. Okay, so the first thing I need to do also too is I need to the time lapse let's go ahead and hit m go into the world let's go ahead and hit connect to the drone and well exit that menu so we can actually see the drone oh damn i'm going way far over out of view check that let's go ahead and just export hold on before i do anything let's go ahead and Just the view. A little bit more. Stop. So that's going to be at the end of my frame, the little camera movement. I like to do that. I like to leave my camera running. Because uh, during that part of the frame, I generally, when I see the camera move, I go in there and I, I, I lengthen that out a little bit so it looks smoother. Uh, so the rotation of the cameras. Can't wait. Hopefully it gets, the, hopefully it gets those freaking drones fixed. They were so powerful, dude, when they first came out. They were so amazing. It could be. Could be there, uh, Scott. Could be. Team shows it as one DLC... Yeah, I mean, it should be it should be there. Like I said, when you go into your options, when you right click on the game and it's in the Steam menu, go right click on the game, go down to properties, and then you should see the DLC tab. Click on the DLC tab and you'll see the DLC right there. Yeah, and if it's there and it's not showing up in your game, then... You need to ask Christian what's up. See if there's something that could be an issue.
not out of the realm of possibility that something is a little uh, uh, a myth there, right? Yeah, definitely, definitely hit him up, dude. All right, now we're gonna drop a save. I'm gonna make sure I keep doing this a little bit, especially as I get deeper into the save, right? And we keep moving and moving, getting into uh, unknown territory on this game here, right? So, drop a save. It's just that goes for no biggie. Well, I mean, yeah, though, but you still want to be able to, if there's something wrong, it might be a problem that other people are having too, that he might need to take a look at things, right? So might need to take a little bit of a look there. While you're chill, your steam cache may be corrupt as well. That is true too, as well. The steam cache might be messed up and then therefore it's not downloading it. That is a very good point there, Reaper. That would be, would, that would have been my next guess. Because I've had, I've been testing sometimes and then all of a sudden my Steam cache was jacked and it wouldn't allow me to download the new client, even though it downloaded it and said it was installed. So that could actually honestly be it. No, verifying and restalling is different than actually deleting and clearing your Steam cache. I don't remember how to do it uh, right now off the top of my head. Uh, maybe Reaper or those guys might know, uh, but the, you, you can actually clear your Steam cache. And that did fix an issue that I did have just like that now that he said that, yes. That is something that you can do. All right, I need to take the rock truck and I need to test to make sure that I have the right amount of side for the, the road here. Yeah, the steam cache is different than verifying and stuff like that. I just don't remember how to do it right now. Thought, man. Yeah, definitely. Google how to clear your Steam cache. Okay, let's see if we left enough room, dude. I don't even know if I left enough room. Too much to type? Yeah, I agree. Ooh, okay, I'm going to round that corner, though. All right. Cool, cool. Yeah, let me round that corner here. Sure. I'll just make sure I just don't push into it. I just need to make sure I don't uh, just slice it off at an angle. There. Easy. Do something like that. Wait, what? Did you just say, Dopey? The cat feet picks $3. <laughs> Really? Oh, man. You guys are nuts, dude. Oh, man. I'm looking at those gold bars sitting in there. And I'm like, oh, snap. Just look how many smelters we have. Oh, baby. Ran out of gold? No, I didn't run out of gold, did I? I cleared this box up here, right? Do I not have any more gold to smell? I smelt it all? Are we all caught up? in there i think i've smelted it all so if i have this i do have the stuff in the uh the, the thing i can pull out and smelt all that Let's make sure i don't got any more gold ore floating around here Ching! right because look at all this gold like i saved up over here let's go look at all the gold and rubies and stuff too You know what I'm really hoping? If someone comes in and bribes you guys again to let me have no tax and when I have like $20 million to spend. I'm really hoping for. 
<laughs> oh, wishful thinking, dude, you know? Hopefully that's what it is, dude. I really do, man. I hope that's what it is. It does seem like what you're saying does describe that. So good, good thing Reaper mentioned that because that does. That is a quite common thing that actually happens. If we have any weird window discrepancies and stuff like that. Hopefully that fixes it. Happened to you a few times. It's happened, yeah, it's happened to me a couple times over the years. I just don't remember how to do it. <laughs> oh, I said I was the Google it whenever it happens. I'm like, gosh damn it. I'm like, why in the hell won't this build work? I don't understand. I downloaded it. But then it just doesn't open up the new build. It just doesn't like it's like Steam doesn't save it correctly. Whenever that cache is messed up. But it, it actually you actually download it fully, it just doesn't like engage. Until you clear that Steam cache. It shows up as you having it, but when you go to boot into it, you don't have the version. It, doesn't, it didn't verify. Nope, that doesn't work for you either? Yeah. Full too, right? Yeah, here we go. All right. It's like I got the price increase tax I advocated for. <laughs> Gosh damn it, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, what's up, Cam? Oh, shit, dude. It's too funny. It's too funny, but you know how funny at the same time, dude. Yeah, just, just hit Christian up, dude. And, uh, see what he says and get with him. Gotta be positive, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Something, something's up. You gotta remember, it's your first time ever doing a DLC. There might be some weird oddity. It might not even be on their end. You know, who knows, right? So get with him. He'll try. I know. I know he tries. Yeah, I know he cares. So hit him up in a DM. Don't don't send a don't send a bug report, man. Uh, just just directly DM him with uh, what's going on. Be very clear. Take a couple screenshots and uh, help the process out. Right. Definitely, he'll definitely get to you. I think you're the only per. Well, I, we will. We don't know because they took the bug reports out. Like, so I think I, I'm gonna say I don't know. I haven't I haven't heard anybody else say they had an issue. So, but we wouldn't know. I honestly think he should bring the bug reports section back in Discord, but not allow people to comment under it. I think that's what he should do. I think he should bring it back. Because all those kids in there just sitting there fucking fighting with each other about things and how they think that they know how to fix the game and they're like computer wizards and shit like that. I think they should bring it back. I think he should bring it back because then that way we can reference to see if someone's reported something or not. Right? You know what I mean? I think it's absolutely stupid that like five people ruined it for everybody. And it's the same five effing people, too, right? That sat there and like constantly, like they're like they're acting like they're developers, right? And it's like, dude, bro, we don't need. Why? Why does a one bug report have eighty-seven chat messages under it? It doesn't need to be that way. It doesn't. That's not for a chat room, right? So maybe they should bring it back and they should just remove the ability to make comments.
If you have a bug report and you have the same bug report, you need to report it under your own tab. That way Christian can tell how widespread the issue is without having to filter through five fucking nerds sitting there trying to argue about what it could be. You know what I mean? Like, it's just absolutely ridiculous. And then it makes it difficult for testers like me because then Christian has to come in and go, well, split, this is what, this, this, this. It just adds more work to everything, right? It adds way more work to the whole pile of bullshit. And those people need to stop, dude. They're not, if they, they're, most of the time, 99% of the time, they've been wrong. 99% of the time, they've been wrong. But they sit there and they act like they know what the fuck they're talking about. <laughs> right? So I'm pissed off because now I can't go in there and reference your guys' bugs without sitting there bugging Christian for the damn emails to check through the bugs. So those assholes ruined it for everybody. If it's the same five guys doing it in Discord, why not ban him? Because Christian's too nice. Christian's too nice. Right? And people are just being subtly being assholes, to be honest. A couple guys are. People tried to start bullshit with me, even though I gave them the exact same answer Christian gave them. You know what I mean? Like, dude, suck it. You know what I mean? Like, you guys all saw that bullshit. It was stupid. When one of the main testers of the game has to dig and make Christian spend all this time to give him the stuff so I can reference things, that's stupid. That's such a waste of time. That's so dumb. So now I'm blind testing. Like, I really have a lot of time for that, dudes. You know what I mean? So if something doesn't get addressed, blame those motherfuckers. Because that's what exactly the, the thing is. I can't look through your guys' reports now. GG. Way to go. Right? Way to go, noobs. Not much. What's up, bearded? All right, that was my little rant for the day about those piss ants in Discord. Cause issues. Try to act like they're the righteous ones all the time. Fucking annoying. That's my daily suck my ass rant. I'll simmer down now. <laughs> That's it. You gotta simmer down, bro. I am so happy that I'm all the way back to this edge here. Oh, man. It is absolutely amazing. Not going to lie. To see that much progress done today, and I'm not even done yet. I was going to say, if I didn't have my recording on, dude. zone out here just remembering the good old days when we could see the bug reports
Ooh, we're a little bumpy over here. Building a bigger reinforced soapbox for split. It does. Needs to be a heavy duty. Heavy duty soapbox, man. Been a while since I caught a live stream, man. See the madness continues as always, dude. Hey, Ben Zombie. Gotta make progress. Or else I get haunted in my dreams by out of war newbiness. The worst dream you can have out of war dream is when you go over to your wall face and you go to cut into it and it just does nothing. You bounce off of it for hours. But I want to make progress. Why do I feel like my drone flew off somewhere? Oh, there it is. Okay. I was like, did my drone fly off? Where's it at? Nope, it's just over there. This is Sparta. Oh, that used to be my, uh, that used to be my, when somebody was getting banned from the channel, the chat would like, if somebody in the chat was being annoying, they would just put their name and then a thumbs down. That way it kind of kept everybody in check. If they were just going annoying for the day, if, if they got like spammed at all, the chat turned on somebody, I'd do the, uh, the, uh, the gladiator emperor thumbs down, <laughs> thumbs up or thumbs down, <laughs> little emote. <laughs> And everybody would be like, all right, well, chat spoken, bros. <laughs> you got to go, dude. You get kicked in the Spartan pit. You get Sparta in a heartbeat. We don't have to do that stuff anymore. You guys, you guys are all like behaving yourself and shit. People are like afraid to act up. Like we literally used to ban like five to six people before chat even started. Back in the gold rush day. And now it's like. We're lucky to ban like 10 people in like a year. That's just how well behaved you guys are. <laughs> like, nah, it was, it was a, it was a, it was like a toxic, crazy troll fest back like seven years ago, dude. Insane. There's a wizard standing in front of you shouting, you shall not pass. Yeah, you know it's gonna be a rowdy stream when you're banned like five or six people before the before the stream even starts. Yesterday, you guys were popping off yesterday, dude. You guys were going hard. You guys are sitting there talking about balls. Christian's trying to like answer valid questions. You guys are talking about nuts the whole time. Oh man, dude. Oh, dude. I told him. I was like, my community's a bunch of sharks, dude. They like to play. Seven years ago, we were a lot younger. You guys have kids that are like seven years old now. That's the crazy thing, right? We like to talk about our balls. That's true. And he comes in saying that the new dirt's going to be like a Ford F-150 or a Raptor or something like that. I was like, dude, why did you have to do that? Come on, you're just going to trigger them, dude. Now everyone's going to be like, Chevy's better. Freaking. It's like, you know what? Okay, that's it. I'm going to take advantage of this. I'm going to start making track triggered now. That's it. <laughs> Yesterday was a fun stream, dude. <laughs> you, guys, you guys messing with the TTS chick? What? Who said that? That was like, she sounds like she failed pirate school. Dude, I almost pissed myself, dude. Because she was totally sound like she failed pirate school. Like, holy crap, dude. I was, I was, I was dying over here. Oh my gosh. Stabs better. I'm like jumping around. This thing's flying. Floating.
Was it Grumpy? I thought it was somebody else. I thought it was Peter or something. I don't remember who it was. I don't think I don't think it was uh, Grumpy, was it? No. It was somebody else. And Shane found the way she says nuts. Yeah, I don't. It wasn't. It wasn't Grumpy. Grumpy said something else to another one. Yeah. No, it wasn't Shane. Shane. Shane was the one that found the nuts. They they were trying to find the one, but I'm talking about the the comment about uh, somebody made the joke. It sounded like she was uh, she failed pirate school because somebody did the yar yar har yar yar and she sounded like she just had a stroke. So. Yeah, they donated, but that's not the what I was referencing. Was it Snippy? No, I don't. There wasn't. No, there wasn't Snippy. It was someone that made a comment about the donation they made, not the donation itself. Yeah, you you sent the nuts one, but it didn't say it the way I was talking about. But then. It, I think it's I think it's with a Z. It's nuts with a Z, and then a question mark after it, and I think that's what triggers her like complete autism. <laughs> However you want to call it, whatever you want to call it, but she she goes full dumb dumb. Oh, you didn't send the nuts. The new nuts. Dude, she does drop a sharp nerds though. Who was that? Naughty? That was like dropping the the freaking all the donations and said nerds. She drops it. She spikes it hard, dude. She drops a hard nerds. <laughs> D's nuts? <laughs> yep. <Yeah, laughs> that's, that's what my TTS makes it sound completely stupid. Which nuts? These nuts! Dude, who's that YouTuber that... Oh, it's, um... He's an RC... I can't remember the name of his channel. He does RC cars. And... Every time he j jumps into his little toolbox of, like, parts, he's like... Hmm, wonder what nuts I need. This size? I need these nuts! And he says it, like, 400 times in his video. To the point where it's... Horribly cringe. But you know he's gonna say it, and you know he can't stop it. Nah, I don't think it's RC Sparks. It's, a, it's another guy. RC Sparks does it too, but this other guy did it way before RC Sparks. It's not RC Sparks. I know. I know that. Is it? Give me a second. It might. It might actually be. Maybe I'm just. It's been a while. I don't think it is though. I think it's another guy. I have to mute for copyright. One second. No, it's not him. It's not, it's not RC Sparks I'm thinking of. It's the other guy. Not sure what his name is though. Yeah, th yeah, that's how I know it's not RC Sparks because RC Sparks was the one that did the uh, the Gold Rush like mini simulation stuff, right? If, I'm, if I remember correctly, that's how I know it's not him. It's a it's a completely different dude. This other guy builds and races and does all this other stuff. Make sure we turn that back on. Man, we are bumping and we're rocking and rolling here today. 
See, look, no more. I was, I was right. We, we were not hitting bedrock back here. Insane. Absolutely freaking insane. Martin Jensen. He, I, if I remember correctly, he kind of looks like the guy Guga Foods. They cooks all the steaks and stuff. He kind of looks like him if I remember correctly. Like bald. I want to say he's like. I don't know what he. I don't know. Martin Jensen. I'm not sure. I'm not sure off the top of my head. I don't know. I don't know. I know. I know it's not RC Sparks though. Oh. We've touched the back wall today, boys. Look at that. Uh. So you guys are going to throw names at me and I I will it, I literally don't remember. It's, I it's been like 3 years maybe since I saw this guy's channel. And I didn't even watch that much. I wasn't something I watched a lot, so I just remember every video I watched, he probably said D's nuts like 400 times. In every one of his videos that I watched, it's maybe like four or five videos. He does a lot of like RC car rebuilds and fixes and talks about new parts and stuff like that and and uh, stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. I'll look up a couple of these names and see which one. Yeah, I gotta mute my sound though, so. Nope, not Talbot. Not him. I'm I'm exporting anyway, so I'm not not Kevin Talbot. Nope. Nope, not him. How does the storage system work? Uh, so right now what I'm, what I'm doing is I'm just loading in pay dirt because this is all pay dirt around me. I'm loading in from my, the box. I'm loading straight into the box and I'm running up my hill and then I'm dumping it into my five to one converter converter boxes. So I'm just dumping it in and uh, running it that way. And it's only processing just the, uh, I'm only looking for gold at the moment because it's a guaranteed conversion rate and the textures are just getting wrecked. Dancing around, boys. Dancing around. A little bit of a tweaky tweak there. Yeah, I'm pretty much just stuffing these boxes with pay dirt so then I can have a stockpile to run through my factory. And then... And also make a little bit of progression faster in this cut because I got a lot of material to move. And I've already got a pretty good war chest of money saved up for the next part of the build. So that's uh that's good. That's real good. That's what I need. And it's only six twenty two, so man, I got a lot more I can do today here. I do need to bust out the uh the roller. Uh, you know what? Let's actually move the time back a little bit, because but uh there we go. Let's bring the light over a little bit. We'll see that on the time lapse. It's no big deal. 
clean this corner out. We'll start up high. Kind of that way it's it's you know it's it doesn't have to be round, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just cutting in a little bit. Yeah, I got my I got my cut going down. I could I could slope this out. I could slope it out and cut it off way sooner and then dig the rest of that out as well too. Going all the way down this bench wall. Because I but then again, I need to be down all the way this far anyway. So I'm probably just going to leave it and then I'll be mining the road out. As I, the last thing I do, I'll mine backwards up all the way up out of my road. Uh, when I'm done, and I go to delete the road and, and mine the road. So I still got to go down a whole. I probably got to go down two more benches at least. At least two, maybe two and a half, possibly three. So I'm just eyeballing mode right now because I know I got so much to do. I can just eyeball it and it doesn't really matter. So I, I need to just keep working, right? That's the thing is like, I don't, I know I have to keep going further and further and further. So there's no point in, in like, I don't need to, I don't need to know how far I need to go right now. If there's too much, it's just going to make me sad. <laughs> you know, sometimes you don't want to know. You just need to keep going until you get close, then go out and put a marker out. Yeah. You know, I don't really want to know. I really don't want to know. Yeah, the main thing is getting down here. Took you forever to bench down a bed. Dude, my problem is I don't have a problem benching to bedrock normally, but the problem is, is when you're in a ravine, you're only going to hit bedrock on the corners for like the first, like, like, what is it? Probably 100, like 300 and something down. Because it, it it follows the bedrock, the, the bedrock's following you down, right? So, like I'll hit bedrock in the very corners where it was the deepest at the highest part when the mine when it was pre-mined, but down here in these flats, I ain't gonna hit bedrock for another, well, four meters. So, right, so that's what I'm saying. I might not hit bedrock in some places by the time this is at its final depth. So that's gonna suck ass. But that's why I'm trying to take all this money out of here. Because I need, I need, I need money. Either I need money or I need gravel, one or the other. I'm on a hillside, so it's like the tip of an iceberg thing. Yeah. See, I'm in a, I'm in a valley, so it's like I'm in a ravine, so only the edges are good. But that good thing is, is right over there in that corner, it dropped down real steep. But that's the only part. But I'm not really digging underneath the dam. You see bedrock over there, right? So I'll definitely be hitting. I'll definitely be mining some bedrock tomorrow. Uh, so I'm gonna definitely have to clean up to the bedrock and then start blasting. I should be hit. I should have hit bedrock over here, right in this very corner. But maybe under the road, I would have hit it over there. You know, it's no big deal. Like you guys gave me the ability to buy blocks. It's the only thing I can buy from the store other than deco. So you guys gave me that ability to do that. So at least I have that. I can at least mine. Is solid is solid rock uh, actually bedrock? Yes. So I always say bedrock, but that's just because it's, you know, overburden, pay dirt, and I, I always just say bedrock, but it's actually solid rock, yes. Solid rock gets blasted into blasted rock, and that's what runs through the plant. Because nothing on the plant actually is technically supposed to run solid rock. It has to be converted to uh, blasted before anything on the plant can run it. Because if you read the description for everything on the wash plant, nothing processes blasted rock and converts it nothing nothing converts sorry uh solid rock the jaw crusher it only takes blasted rock right fractioner same way right so Unplayable. That's it. Unstalling. Going to Reddit, leaving a horrible review. <laughs> I 
That's it. There's too much dirt. I mean, hey, I don't care. Dirt's dirt, man. I'm, I'm going to run it and make money, right? I'll buy some damn blocks. It is what it is. No, could you imagine, though, if I couldn't have bought... If you guys didn't allow me to buy blocks? None of this would be built right now. It would just be a big, giant, freaking hole that I'm digging, hoping for bedrock. Like, <laughs> None of this would have been... Would not be as far as I am right now. bought a dirt digging game but there's too much dirt <laughs> right well i love when people ask me is digging all you do in this game well no shit numb nuts it's a digging game what do you expect that is the content oh that's kind of stupid like well if you don't like it don't buy it don't play these type of games right like shit bro freaking go play something else poly pocket adventure no one gives you shit Fuck my ass I like digging holes. What can I say? I like big holes. And I cannot lie. Corner completed. Um. This game tickles my autism so good. Maybe that's why I have. Maybe that's what my deal is with these type of games. Just hits my autism just right. <laughs> right. Right, that was done processing. That's good. Hey, Cam, dude, take it easy, buddy. Great night, man. Hopefully, you guys' birthday party was fun, dude. Did a one, man. should I put the other one just keep on going right dudes keep hammering this thing down we got time we got moving I said this thing wouldn't be done by Friday doing it like this it's getting done tomorrow pull my Batman voice out Sure, let's get some roll on action in the uh in this beast. I remember the guy the guy that came in the chat one day and he was like the roller is so unrealistically small. I'm like, what? Yeah, look at the loader, how big it is and how small the roller is. Like, dude, do you not know how big that thing is in real life, that loader, compared to this roller? It's about the same. Like, dude. That thing is massive. The thing is, is you look at the I look at that loader now and I feel like it's small. 
Okay, that okay, I left you guys open for something. Chat. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Nope. Mm, still waiting because there's a chat delay. Waiting, chat. Don't let me down. There's a joke there to be had. There we go. Freaking mad. You're the winner of the day, dude. Holy dude. These guys are slacking, right, man? That was, that was primed for the that's what she said. Come on, dudes. You're slacking in your old age. She lied. Trying to run this over a little bit. Just giving me some slack after yesterday. <laughs> uh, have I seen, did I see your things? Yeah, I saw that, uh, that picture. Which <laughs> he's like, I got this. Bam. I'm listening on my phone in my pocket. <laughs> oh, man. He's like, I got this. Well, it's 4 a.m. Comes early. Yeah, 4 a.m. comes early for sure. It feels like this last hour is taking forever, man. Am I, is my clock off? Is it really only 6.30, Dopey? Nice. Today is a day that needed to go slow, and I do need, I did need to make a lot of progress. I was talking about yesterday. So, I guess it was a good call just to stock restock up on pay dirt. Because we weren't hitting bedrock. Might as well stock pay dirt again. Well, that just looks all right. It should be that bumpy. And yeah, no doubt, man. Take it easy, Keith. Take it easy, bro. All right, let's see here. We have, I'm gonna, it is a 6.30. So I got an hour and 30 minutes left before I got to get this video made and do my routine, boys. But today is my last day of the work week. So tomorrow I will have some more time to play. Plus it's Friday, so I can make a little bit more noise and my neighbors can fucking eat a dick. And don't be trying to whore me out for Saturday, so there is that option for you guys as well, too. Okay. Um, let's build another hopper box real quick. That one did pretty well. Do I even need this one? Let's put the damn hammer away, dude. Are we still gaining numbers? What do we got? Nine? Put in 14 hours today, dude. Savage. Hater is... Oh, that's actually doing pretty well, too. Oh, I cannot do any more. So I got to take this up and put this in another storage. So I need to get into the machine. The truck. 14-hour stream tomorrow? No, nah, I can't do a 14-hour stream tomorrow, but... Um, I definitely am going to put in a good a good amount of stream. So I'm most, like, I'm most likely gonna be streaming this weekend right so where i wasn't going to but um people canceled on us so dopey is now trying to sell my ass off i is better so which nobody cares so it's like nah Someone, someone call. I haven't seen Glenn for a while. The last time I heard from Glenn, he said he was really sick. Worried about him, man. 
said he was super sick, dude. He was like super sick and he was like barely recovering, but he was like sick for like two months, man. Hopefully he's doing okay. Oh shit, I didn't I didn't export. There, that was a bummer. Did Sivid get him? Uh, I think he did he did have that. He did have he did have um he did he did get that, so but then he said he was getting over it, but I haven't heard we didn't heard from him since. That wasn't confirmed. No, we're not gonna put that on anybody. Normally, so Adobe does this, by the way, just a little reminder. She does this so that way we can recoup some money into PayPal, which is where I pay for the stream bills. All right, so that's what that's why she does this. And to buy, like, dinner for the the weekend and so we can relax and hang out, maybe buy a couple beers, things like that, right? Kick back, hang out, chill, be stupid, play random games. Come on. Let's go. I'm not a froze up on me. Having a little bit of an issue here today, Dame. This damn game is. <laughs> Come on, buddy. You can do it. I promise you'll be all right. Just 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 get through this. There you go. There you are. Okay. Tear this one down now. Yeah, I don't need this one anymore. Um, yes, I do, but I am not uh, releasing that information. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say it. I have too much. I have, you know, quote unquote competition. And uh, I don't want to put it out and then someone just does it before me while I'm sitting there 200 hours out from it. So, it's going to be cool though. It's going to be fun. Rotate this around. Yeah, but I'm, I'm definitely doing another big, another big project. It's going to be more of a building project than an actual digging. Because I want to take a little bit of a break in between uh, seasons. Right, so... But I got some things planned for it that are have never been done. It's never been done in Out of War. Not, no one's ever done it. But I'm gonna what I'm gonna throw together. Or try to attempt to. It's never been done. use restrooms. I'll be right back.
Nope, I'm not pooping. I'm back. Drop a save. Oh, yeah. Like I was hoping you'd say you're going to focus on building, especially since uh, now that we have the DLC. Yes. Yes. The next the next project is something that, uh, like I said, it's just, uh, I don't want to say how I'm doing and stuff like that because it's also one of those things I go back to when I was saying earlier about, I don't want to say it because if I, if I can't pull it off, you know what I mean? It's going to, I don't want to do that, but I'm going to try very hard and this project's going to be very tedious. It's going to be very tedious. I'll guarantee you, you've never seen anything like it before. 100%. It's actually more building than it's like, it's going to be like actual 80% of it's going to be building. And most of it's going to be, yeah, it's most of it's going to be like 80% building versus right now. Most of this is digging this, that build, that one's going to be more about building, but I'll have all everything up and running on this save. So hopefully everything goes as planned, but if it doesn't, it's all big. We can change. We can change on the fly. No big deal. This is my hopes. Six lane highway across the map. Nope. I'm going to move the drone. So we're going to start the drone back up. That'll be cut that out. I'm going to kind of zippy over here. Yo, yo, yo. Give a nice little rotation and say, yo, let's see some work done over here. Right, just like that. Now, let's kill the drone. Now, I'll just say this. It will, if I, if I, if this save survives, it will be built on this save. And it will take up all of this. Right here. So everything from here, like all of this, off to, I will literally have to, can't move the camera. That whole mountain up there, all the way up there, will have to be flattened. I can't even give you guys a hint because it'll give away what it is. I can't even give you a hint. I'm just nibble on speed. Damn, I forgot to grab my water. Like I said, I don't even know if I can pull it off. That's another reason why I don't want to say it.
Wish I had T T joints and stuff. Nibbling on some pizza. One of the things that I'm going to be doing is going to be so difficult to do. I might have to have Christian help me with it. No, it's not it's not that he'd be helping me with a certain thing i can't say what it is but he'd be helping with a certain process for the video of the finale build <laughs> yeah There's just some stuff you can do as a developer in Unreal that you can't do in the game to help speed that process up. Like, for instance, if I do what I'm saying I was going to do, it could take him 20 minutes versus take me 300 hours. Just for a 30-second video clip. But that 30-second video clip Hmm. Looking for that cheddar. You know what I mean? That Hollywood that Hollywood shot, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I mean, I can do it without it, but you know what I mean? My, it's a lot of, it's gonna be a lot of work. I'm down for it, but it'd be cool if I could get a like a collab type thing going on. I think it would make the game stand out like insanely. We'll see how it goes, man. I'm, I'm excited. Like I said, I'm, I, this this is the shit that I enjoy. I didn't get. I would never had. Wasn't able to do this stuff on Gold Rush, man. It's just exciting for me, dude. Like I, as a content, like what I'm doing, that's exciting for me. You know, I didn't. I never felt like I ever. 
I was always promised that we'd eventually be able to do that stuff, but we never got it never got delivered. I feel like I'm able to do some of that stuff in this game, and that's what's exciting for me, and that's what I really enjoy. I feel like I can actually be a creator again. You know? And it's hard to it's hard to describe the feeling, you know what I mean? I feel like I was so limited before. My main, my main, once I actually started being a YouTuber, one thing I always said was, is I, my main thing is I would love the game. Speaking of Gold Rush, I, I would love the game to be able to have more creator support so I could make a really good role playing series and stuff like that. Even just having better cameras and stuff, right? And, you know, it, it never, the game, it's hard to make, it was hard to do what I wanted to do with that game as far as like my content goes once I finally decided you know oh, I'm actually gonna do this or or do whatever you know like you know it was like, so and I, I just I never I always felt like oh and then and then, and then it kind of like wore on me maybe like a little depressed and shit because I was like you know this is what I want to play this is what I want my channel to kind of be but I'm not able to get my I'm not able to do it because I'm limited by the game right so that's why, like I was, you know, like I said, I was like, I'm super thankful for Christian because it allows me to do it and not have to develop my own game, you know, so to speak, right? And I'm able to do it for a game that you guys are all playing right now, and it brought back, it definitely brought my channel from the brink of of just completely stalled almost, you know what I mean? So, and now I can finally do all these things and these projects that I've always wanted to do. Right, like editing Gold Rush videos. What the f is there to edit? Nothing. Like you know, what I mean, that's why you see all of everybody's content is exactly the same thing. They log in, they blab for an hour, and then it's done. They might as well just live stream the damn shit. Right, like that's all it is. It's always the same stupid shit. There, because there is no real content to be had. Honestly, there's not. You know, and, I, and, and you can't really be creative because there's nothing to be creative with. So I just, I find it to be difficult, right? Like it's a very difficult thing other than just showing people how to play the game and whooping people's ass at leaderboards. I've already been there and done that. Right. So for me, that's what I was saying. I, 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 I actually, I, for the first time in like, like literally so the first three years was really exciting in gold rush. There was a lot going on. Right. And then, then there was nothing and it just got dismal. And I felt that way as a, as, as a streamer and creator that I just had nothing to go off of until this last year and i'm like i actually am motivated to get up and do this and create this and be all about this you know what i mean like it's that's yeah, it's it's, it's, it's the best way i can describe it even though right now i'm literally just grinding and chatting as well but you know what can what else can we really do while we're just sitting there playing and progressing these things i mean i could be doing this by myself and not streaming it but is that right <laughs> like that's boring <laughs> imagine imagine if i didn't do anything for the last the last two months and then i just showed you guys this build sure some people would be really happy because it'd be a really cool edited video and stuff like that right but we would have missed all the amazing moments of the live streams that happened right what's up randy i to get some sleep brother you know so and i'm a live streamer not a not really a video creator so i'm really gonna try my best to amp up my creator game when i do the when i do the video series the rp series for out of war mp when i do it
I already have most of it scripted out and everything like that. And, and, uh, who's going to be playing certain parts. I've sent, I've sent emails out to, uh, creators that you guys all know and stuff like that. And you guys have watched the videos and I've gotten some responses back from some of them now. Um, and they said, yeah, I'll, I would definitely like to do a voiceover part for sure. Right. So I have some funny scenarios and stuff like that, that we're, we're going to be doing in that. And, and it's not going to be anything crazy. It's not going to be anything like hardcore, long 40, 45 minute hour long videos. No, they're going to be real quick, little bangers, dude. You know what I mean? I'm going to put about 10 of them out and then that's what's going to, that's going to be the season. Right. And then see you next season. You know, when we record the next. Play 10 hours that needed a nap. And we'll say you can't edit the footage that you have right now. Exactly. I can. Right. So I definitely, I definitely can. That's why I don't put a UI on my screen. It's because I can always come back and use the shit as, as footage, but in general, I'm okay with it. I have all the time-lapse footage of the digging and stuff like that. And I got all that stuff like saved throughout the whole thing. And, and I can, you know, it's not that big of a deal, right? I can just make at the end of this so at the end of season four, I'm literally just going to do the same thing I did in the season three. I'll make a season three recap video. You know showing all the work and and um you know showing off the save pretty much like a, a build show off video right and then tease a little bit for what's going on in season five depending on if, depending if i depending on the time frame of when i finish this project versus content and stuff like that coming out right or other stuff coming out like mp and stuff like that You know, I mean, I might hire an editor after I'm done with season this season to go through and make me about 10 episodes out of all this footage and all this live stream. Uh, it, it has been something that's been rolling around in my brain just to kind of like, you know, a little extra content and uh, then just do the voiceover for it. Right. So. Because not everybody wants to watch the eight hour live streams and not everybody wants to watch the time lapses. So, you know, and the thing, but the thing is, is that's a lot of footage for those editors to go through and you got to pay them for those hours. So to get X amount of videos, it may just, I, it just not, might not be worth it. You know what I mean? Because if I do it myself, then that takes away from more streaming, right? So and that's kind of the, uh, the kicker, right? More time doing other stuff equals less time streaming. It seems to be you guys like the streaming, right? Hundred and nineteen likes today, dudes. Really? How many of you guys were here today watching? I see there I see there's forty three now. I just tabbed out to look. The shit, dudes. It seemed like there was literally only like ten people watching most of the day. Chat was kind of going a little slow on the slow side. Maybe a soccer. 119 likes. Thank you guys very, very much. Been in and out all day. I feel you dudes. I enjoy the streams. I can chill and play and chat when I get off work and just, uh, you can sit bed. Yeah. I mean, that's what a lot of people were saying. Like, you know, yeah, we really, a lot of people really found the channel when I made all those videos in the beginning of out of war and I was cracking hard on the videos. Just, I was putting, I was putting out content over and over and over and I wasn't really streaming as much right so 
because I found it very, very hard to make the videos and stream at the same time on the same save. It was 107 when you came in. Uh, likes? I was wondering how many people we we, we got to. Seems like for 100 and something likes, people got trickling in and out all day today, huh? Seems like we peaked at about. You no, know, we've been we've been holding about forty to forty to sixty most of the day today. I jumped off here this last uh, about fifty or sixty to about forty-ish. You're kind of hovering around a little bit up and down. This is one of those days. It's a thir it's a it's a Thursday. I was kind of shocked when I saw the the likes and I was like, what the fuck? How many of you guys were in here today? Bros. Yesterday, you guys were cracking off yesterday. I'm like, peaked at almost 100 viewers yesterday? That's not bad for how how deep we are in this patch, man. Because typically, typically you'll lose half your viewership once people, about a two weeks out after the, uh, after a patch, right? That's what I've noticed in kind of like the data that I've been able to gather from, uh, out of war. And, um, not this time. <laughs> nope. Not this time, bro. Not this time at all. This patch was like, this thing came in like someone just took four pills of Viagra, dude. Came in hard. <laughs> I was like, Christian, I don't know what's going on, bro, but uh, whatever's happening, it's happening. Hey, there's a lot of people interested in this patch and there's a lot of people watching. Maybe it's because I took that. I was like, I don't know. Maybe it's because I took a two months off or I don't really don't know what to tell you, but this patch is slapping. People are interested and project or just a relaxation something to do you guys are bored of everything else combination of a lot of shit right i guess but uh this patch was great man this patch was really good like i'll, I'll this type of content is really long and drawn out it does burn people out right so one thing i've noticed over the years of playing this long grindy content type stuff it does burn people out you have their attention for about a week or two uh and then what, what's really fun and happening and then the the real OGs are the ones that stick around for for the long haul, right? I'm not one of those guys that would have been like, oh, we only got 30 people watching right now. I'm going to like turn my stream off and it's not worth it. It's not worth it. This is this stupid. I don't know. I got to get this hole dug. No offense, but fuck you guys. I gotta dig this hole regardless, so someone's better watch me dig it. <laughs> right? <laughs> the real OGs are too dumb to leave. <laughs> right? Like, I'm gonna be digging this hole anyways. I might as well have some company with me, right? <laughs> like, shit, dude. I won't dig this hole by myself. I mean, it's already single player. I already got to do that. But damn, man. I have no one to talk to and like dig in my damn hole. Dude, that's that's just too much to ask. What's up, three? Green gamer. What's up, man? I don't know why I said your name out like that. Like I got I had like a stroke for a second. This, this this excavator's just in the way chilling. Here for the long haul, brother? Hell yeah, I know you guys are. I'm just messing with you dudes. Like I said, I love my lurkers, man. I know a lot of you guys are working real hard and a lot of you guys are playing the game and you guys watch this as like a podcast while you guys are playing your game and stuff like that. And and I appreciate it over all the years, dudes. I know I poke fun at you guys, but I truly, really do appreciate it. OG, original gangster. Right. No, like, like when you guys are working, a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys drive truck and things like that and stuff like that, dude. I don't want to see you guys typing in chat unless you're pulled over, getting ready to rest for the night or you're waiting for a load. I don't want to see you guys typing in my chat. 
You guys know that. Be safe, dudes. You know what I mean? My chat is... The stream and chat is not as important as you being safe and being smart when you're at your job. You know what I mean? Got a lot of hardworking dudes that work in those, those fields and stuff, so... You know? I've actually banned people in my chat that said that they were driving truck while texting to me. In my stream. I've actually done it in the past. I've actually banned them. Just keep going. I'm just stoked with the progress today, though. Because that puts that cut. To sh I'm going to put that to shame tomorrow. That's going down for sure. Still pushing. I still got an hour. Right? So. They did first, dude. Exactly. I put you on audio only. Yeah, man. Audio only. And just, like, if you have hands free, just let me know. Like, just. <laughs> yeah. Because I know a couple guys do, right? So I can tell you guys is typing. Like, when stuff something goes stupid. And I'm like, yeah, they're probably just driving. Especially if I know you're a driver. Right, and I can see that you're like you're probably hands free, and you're just typing, and you're not typing, but you're uh, you're text to speech or speech to text, the other way around. I know a lot of guys. I know a lot of guys are just waiting for your loads and stuff like that too, and just chilling. And you guys will be like, "All right, I got about 400 miles to drive, and hopefully you're still here when I'm back." <laughs> Chatting to respond to something stupid that I say is not worth safety. You know what I mean? That's, I've just always felt that way. I don't remember I'm old. It's okay, though. It's all right, though, you guys. Well, we still love you. All right. We'll forgive your oldness. Okay. Nah, you probably smell like Ben Gay. All right. Forgive you. Dude, this front end loader is putting in work. We can Oh yeah. Decision was great today. <laughs> Perfect decision to do what I did today, man. All right, I gotta walk. <laughs> no. <laughs> Even if he was, it is what it is. I'm gonna do a little bit of a sneaky sneak here. I'm gonna back this thing around, then I'm gonna send it to garage. Because <laughs> the camera doesn't, I don't think the camera can see back here behind this little lip. Right, so we'll tuck it in like we're gonna back it away and then we're gonna get rid of it. Like magic. Like, hello, time lapse camera. Now you see me. Now you don't. Oh, Jonah. I'm just gonna send him to the garage. I'm not using him, so. I'm digging a scoop there. Yeah, I can't, I'm not sure off the top of my head who it was, but uh, yeah. Thanks for coming in and saying thank you. I really appreciate it when you guys come on in and say uh, thanks for the gifteds. Hard to tell who it was. I wish, I really wish YouTube would say in the email that they send you such and such gifted you a sub. You know what I mean? Why is it that hard to say in the email who effing gifted you the sub? Like, how stupid is that? Come on. Like, damn, bro. 
Come on, YouTube. Get it together. Yeah, agree. We can we can thank him directly. Exactly. It just doesn't make any sense. Like, what is the harm in letting somebody know who gave you the gift? You've already you've already agreed to the policy of accepting and allowing gifts. So why does it matter if they know who gifted you? Maybe it's because YouTube wants you to go and look through the stream to see who did it. That way, YouTube gets more like. It gets you to come back to the platform and go to the live stream and then like look through and it gives them more time to hit you with more ads. I don't know what the logic is, but it seems stupid. I really don't know. You know what I mean? What their logic is between that behind that, right? But I've always found that to be odd because whenever I get gifted a sub, I always want to be able to go, Hey, I want to know who did it. So then I always go back and I do the same thing. I kind of look, it says, it says the live stream that it was done in, but it doesn't say who did it. You going to gold sim game? I still, I still is out of war is better. Um, I mean, considering I've played gold sim for like seven plus years, AKA gold rush. Um, I'll be playing it a little bit just to play with the new DLC stuff when that stuff comes. But other than that, no, there's nothing out of, there's nothing that, uh, gold sim has to offer me for right now. I do help out with the testing and stuff like that, but other than that, no. Hey, John, dude, thank you much for that uh, 99, bro. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate that, dude. The hyper in the chat for the dono. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not, uh, I've already been there, done it. There's no other content for me. Hey, pipe, 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 pipe. Yeah, man. Every donation helps, man. Appreciate that. I will slowly but surely buy you an ounce a week. You buy me an ounce of weed? Is that what you just said? <laughs> yes, sir. Do you know how long it would take me to smoke an ounce of weed? Hardly do. I hardly, hardly do it. I think, I think like a half ounce would last me like it was just me. Oof, that lasts me a while, man. But I have been trimming my antlers lately. I have been again. <laughs> so. I got the approval that I can, that I can smoke cannabis and still have my job. So yeah, bye. I've been doing it whenever I have free time. I don't like doing it when I stream, man, because it just, it turns me into an even bigger potato. And it's been so long since I've smoked and stuff on stream. The other day when I did it, man, I felt like I was like in a whole nother universe there. <laughs> oh, what, huh? What? I don't know. Once me and Dopey started growing, once they legalized here in Canada, I just kind of smoke myself retarded for like the 400th time in my life and and uh then we just i just haven't done it a lot plus i got a job and like i didn't want to risk it and yep and dopey dopey doesn't really like smoking anymore either she prefers edibles Yeah, we don't, we, I mean, we smoked, we smoked a joint last, uh, last weekend, sit by the fire and, but even then we just, since we, you know what, I'll, I'll say this, since we stopped, stopped smoking cigarettes, we stopped really smoking weed. I guess that's the best way to put it. We used to smoke daily, every day, all day almost, but now we just don't do it. I don't, I, and I still, it is still my meds, but I just don't have time to even think about anything lately anymore. So I like to be able to enjoy it when I do do it. So.
What a quitter. What is going on there? Hi, how you doing, man? Oh, getting old? No, I just, uh, the way I feel about it is, is like, cause I, I used to be a medical marijuana uh, practitioner as far as like, even just dispensary growing and stuff. And I'm kind of one of those people that's like, if I can't medicate all day, every day, which I can, I don't know. I just, I just haven't, it's something that's, I have to really be into. And I guess I'm just not into it anymore. It's not because of age or anything like that. It just, I don't know. I need my brain to be clear and, and I, ha I just too many, I don't, I don't feel like I have enough time to do it anymore the way I would like to do it, I guess. It's hard to put. When I want to be a stoner, dude, I want to be a, a stoner. You know, what I, <laughs> you know what I mean? I want to go full blown half baked, dude. I love the art of smoking and like bongs and pipes and glasswork and I love it, man. I do. I absolutely do. Absolutely love it, man. I can guarantee you I probably smoke some of your guys' body in body weight and weed. Like <laughs> easy. Maybe multiple times over. But I don't know. He said, ever since I quit smoking, I kind of lost the, uh, the urge to smoke it and stuff as often. I do enjoy it. Like I said, I do enjoy it. So. Strange flex. It is. I'll be doing. Well, when you grow it and you grow in like 60, 70 to like three to 500 pounds of harvest, it kind of becomes eh after a while. Then they're just trying to figure out how to keep like consuming, you know, five to 10,000 milligrams a day. You know what I mean? Like. And that was my, that was my daily consumption back before I met Dopey was about 10,000 milligrams a day. To the point where I was doing 10,000 milligrams a day between eating it, smoking it, and everything like that, and I didn't even feel it. That's what happens when you have unlimited. Have you ever pressed rosin before? Yeah, I got I got a ten ten a ten ton press press sitting behind me with the heat plates, ceramic uh, the 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 pressure plates. Yes, I <laughs> ten <ton of> rosin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, I do. I, I prefer rosin. Uh, for just cleaner. I prefer pressing. Yeah, I got a 10 ton press. The heat plates and the, the thing literally sitting right under my desk. I can, I'm actually touching it right now. Yeah, it depends on the flower. Depends. Some flowers are shit. Some flower just presses out pure garbage, and you're like, gosh damn it. You know when you press it and you see that white foamy, it looks like spray foam coming out? You're like, hell yeah, boy! <laughs> it's expanding! Or here, you guys don't speak that dark language. Yeah. yeah. Eventually, the rest of the world will get cl closer to the times. Not being stupid, and they'll figure out a way to tax it and not be dumb. It's only weed, after all. Holy shit. Get over it. Just like the goddamn Gold Rush revamp. Holy shit. Get over it.
Yep, it's. I enjoy growing. Like I said, I'm a master. I'm, consi I'm actually considered a master grower. I took agricultural sciences. I've done a lot of greenhouse work in school. In high school, we had ag science class, horticulture. Um, absolutely. I, w growing of anything is is probably one of the most relaxing things that I like to do. Um, even you know, over video games or anything. Uh, I I love being in a greenhouse. Something about it to me that is relaxing all the way to my soul. The work to me is not really work. Um, you know, I mean, when I'm tending to the plants or, or um, you know, like cloning and just general care and maintenance and things like that. No matter what I'm growing, it doesn't have to be cannabis either. I just, it's that is my that's my comfort relaxation place. Uh, in Discord, I've been pretty much uh, joined, jump in VIP to chat sometime if you see me in there. And I generally don't like to talk about it during stream because it's so taboo still, even to this day. YouTube took a horrible stance on it. We probably should stop talking about it right now. But uh, yeah, just hit me up in Discord and and uh, I can give you some tips and stuff like that. Or if you have any issues, just let me know. A bunch of old people with sticks in their asses. Yeah. It's a huge market. The world's missing out on its stupidity. Yeah, no problem at all, man. Don't don't. If you have VIP, man, don't feel afraid to jump in and say hello, guys. If you're shy or whatnot, man. Just take it easy. Just come on in, listen for a little bit. It's no big deal, dude. Most of the time when I'm in VIP, like I, if I have the chance to sit and hang out, I try not to even talk that much. And so. Just be respectful of all the other people in the chat and try to wait and give people a turn to talk and stuff like that. And sometimes, sometimes we do uh, movie nights. I think this weekend we might do a movie night after this stream if we stream on Saturday. So if not, we'll if we don't stream, I'll probably be at least just hanging out in Discord, hanging out, watching TV, and just kind of relaxing and doing stuff. So who? Ooh. Yeah, don't play a guitar or Grumpy's going to come in and yell at you. He'll tell you to get off of his lawn. Who? Me? Matthew ban five. I don't know his protection money wore up already now. I told him he was good and tell so you know. Came in and dropped that three hundred and fifty dollar dono dude and he was like I'm protected. <laughs> Dopey protects me. <laughs> I was like, what, 340 something dollars you don't know? <laughs> Giving the finger to five. <laughs> you had to pay the mob bosses for protection. Good man. Hell yeah. How we work around here. You guys haven't noticed? My wife sells me off for the weekends. You get paid for protection from the mods, you know. No, that's how this that's how this channel rolls, dude. <laughs> I scare him to pay <laughs> the enforcer. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, I'm easily going to be doing that tomorrow over there. 
And some. Ooh, hell yeah, dudes. Means I'm gonna be able to cut in to the second cut down and uh, hit this next bench tomorrow. Where's Connor at? I feel like I'm needing to like do something here. Am I overdue on my, my box? Probably. It's okay at this point. He was on top of his game all day today. He helped me smelt a lot of bars. I would have forgot numerous times. I probably only smelted like a thousand. Instead, he helped me double it up. Hell yeah, dude. I'll take up. angled that box a little bit. Okay, it's all right. What is the next set of machinery that they hope that they expand into? I want to see, I want to see dredges, water, water monitor. That's what I want to see. I want to see like pumps, hoses, water, stuff like that. That's, that's what I want to see them work on after everything that they're currently doing right now. I want to see whole new gameplay developed. You know what I mean? Like, heck with just another excavator or just another loader. Who cares? Right? I want to see a whole new way to play the game. All right, that's what I want to see. I don't want to see another just random excavator or loader or whatnot. Like he can add he can add hundreds of those things later on down the road. Gameplay features, boys. That's what we need. Think bigger. Think think smarter, think bigger. You know? Don't go basic. This isn't farm sim, right? They can actually develop things here. Think outside the box, man. You know? As soon as they think bigger, their minds go to a 288. No. Stop it. That's stupid. That's that's boring. It's dumb. Hell with the 288. Oh. No. I would rather see a freaking a horse and a freaking plow than a 288. Like <laughs> you know, like Dude. Think bigger. Do better than farm sim. Exactly. Gameplay features, guys. Gameplay features. Not, not an asset. Like a, a, a model. Hell with that notion, dude. That's old school and that's crap. And that's exactly why people are pissed off at farm sim. Change your minds, dudes. Gameplay features. What is something you'd always wish you could do in a, in a mining game or a digging game? You know what I mean? This has nothing to do with the model of the equipment. Something that could be featured around actual new gameplay features that we've never played before. Right? That's what we need to be thinking about here. Not who has a shiny loader or who has a shiny new excavator, you know. Like a lot, I, I would much rather see Christian develop a drag line 
for like a bucket crane or things like that than a 288 or things like that you know what i mean much rather see that that stuff or dredges or things like that you know water monitor uh, pumps and waters and hoses things like that that can really complement the game i mean christian can literally just add excavators all day long you know what i mean that shit's like we already know that that's one thing i was saying we don't have to worry about equipment when it comes to this game the main thing we have to worry about is gameplay features to not make the game feel stale like farm sim so more features more cool features Wrecking ball crane would be yeah, that'd be sick, dude. Well, do you guys remember like the game when it originally came out? If you had destruction mode on and you ran into things, it would just break up and, and fall apart. Man, that'd be sick. Imagine doing a big build and you build something, then you tear it down with like a, with a big giant crane and like a wrecking ball. That'd be sick. He could even literally just put a whole bunch of buildings in like a town into this game and we could go over and just demolish it and take it down and recycle all the shit into goods. You know what I mean? Like with stuff like that. Electric generation would be a good step. Yeah, he's talked about that a lot, actually. About the electric generation and um, things like diesel pumps and stuff, right? So... I could see I could see a diesel generator being one of our first uh, type of things that we get right because we can we can get oil now right we could buy diesel farming is pretty cool yeah it is it's pretty badass yep or a little electric coal plant we've been waiting for a pop mod and farm sim they've all been canceled like they get shut down so fast like they, like like you can't make wine when you grow grapes how stupid was that come on are you kidding me oh i can make grape juice awesome I can't make freaking wine. Why? Because the rating gives really. Like that was the biggest disappointment that they didn't have a wine thing for that expansion. Right when they came out with the grapes and stuff. That was so disappointing. That was like, really, really? I thought it'd be sick like for me i was like dude you know it'd be really sick if they came out with, like the wine stuff like you harvested them all then you could get out with your character and you had like those big giant like make some like presses and things like that and you could like make actually put a little bit of gameplay into these mechanics and productions i didn't expect the productions to be so lame that's what was disappointing to me it was nice to have the addition of productions but i always found the production to be so damn generic that I just didn't give a shit about them and it just became just another monotonous thing to do and that's what I'm hoping Christian does does not do right is take away that don't go down the route of farm sim genericness right too generic farm sim is too basic in every aspect of its game and I, I hope that these sim guys get away from that I hope that these sim developers get away from that notion that farm sim is the top, but it's so limited. Because if we don't, all these games are going to be so stale. They're going to be so stale, and they're just all just going to be farm sim generic ripoffs, and it's going to be ass. Farm sim's good for what it is, but it's we all know it's lacking. Look at these German.
cool to see a jeweler an appraiser mechanic and stuff yeah i mean that's all that should all come like later on down the road hopefully we'll see farm sims made for kids is it is it really because I, I always have i always just see old bearded fucks with bellies drinking beer smoking cigarettes playing farm sim you know You're just hoping for a Romulan planet miner from Star Trek. <laughs> you said that I was, as I was typing it. <laughs> Max. That's confirmed. No, I'm not, not, not hating on it. I'm just saying. It is. It's. I feel per, for me personally, it's kind of ran its course for me. While it's fun to do some farming and hanging out and hey y'all let's get some tractors and do it's just not my thing anymore We've done it. We beat it to death and it's like we always do the same damn thing every time we play the game We junk out hardcore like crack addicts and we end up just making the most lucrative way to make the money the quickest And we just junk it till we hate the game Right, and it's like Cool <laughs> Been there done that right? Anybody watching the new Star Trek Discovery? Came out last night. I fell asleep because I was just tired. This morning, like I only got like a little bit in, and I was like, "Ugh, going to sleep." I don't have the time. I'll probably watch them tomorrow night. I'm not really a Star Trek fan, but for some reason, I really like the Discovery shows. Now I will never play farm sim. <laughs> After you play all the good maps, it gets boring. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's just difficult. Put up old and have a beer belly again. <laughs> They'd have to make some massive game changes to get you to come back. Yeah, I was, I was, we were highly disappointed with pumps and hoses and stuff like that. We were all like sitting there and we were just like, really? This is like what they're doing. Like, this is what we anticipated. Gold Rush has better pumps and hoses. What are you doing? This is horrible. It was so bad. What, they passed something today? Try not to get into too much politics, but, uh, what do you mean it's coming back to us? Huh? I haven't heard anything this last couple days or last week. Owed thirty four hundred dollars in taxes this year. Fucking bullshit. 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 Hey, Whoopi. PC account? What do you mean? What, what are you talking about? Hold on. Wait, what?
You didn't like Star Trek Discovery? Hmm. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. What'd you say, Dobie? Hmm. That the carbon tax is coming back to us? What is? What do you mean by that? Kicking his ass out. <laughs> Listen, I got a lot of propane to buy this year, okay? I got a lot of beer to buy this year, okay? Like, some bullshit. Uh, FS22 is like a lot of games. Modding, modding community is what makes it good. There are mods that make wine. Yeah, but the thing is, is like some of these things should not have to be done by modders. And I, I, I'm on the fence with whether or not I like that developers are being lazy nowadays and depending on modders. And the reason why I, I uh, like modding but don't like modding is because sometimes the modders just don't update their mods and your favorite mod gets broken for too long and or they just stop making mods altogether and then all of a sudden you don't have it anymore. So I, I prefer the developers to develop games, not the community. I just feel developers have gotten lazy and they rely on it too much. While modding is a great thing and there's some really good monitors, but I respect what they do fully, 100%. But yeah, the devs need to be the ones putting these basic things in. And not to be political right now, but I'm glad that I don't live in Canada. Yeah. I would too, but then I'd have to wait 15 years for a game to be playable. Um... Mm, it depends. I mean, playable versus somebody adding something that you like, I guess. Because playable is relative to what you like versus what somebody else likes. Like, I like playing a lot of games vanilla because I don't, like, for instance, like Farm Sim, I don't play with cracked out tractors and, like, super wide super speed and uh, crazy numbers and stuff like that. I try to play the game as vanilla as possible and only add mods that add in a good, stable, healthy vanilla feel right so that's just me i ain't everybody <laughs> die billion dollar my billion storage capacity Actually, you know what? The matter of fact, the last time I played FS22, we added, we finally added all those mods that people were wanting us to play with, and we burned out because it got boring. And it ruined the gameplay loop of the vanilla gameplay that we were used to and that we liked.
He said, I kind of sit on the fence with it. You know what I mean? I do 100% respect modders and the work that they put in. Dopey was rolling too much grass, dude. When you, when Dopey made 20 something million dollars in silage bales, vanilla, okay, in like three days, okay, and she broke our server with a stack overflow issue. She broke it. I was talking to a homie, I was talking to FS Club, and I was like, dude. They were like bragging about how many hay bales they had. And I showed them a picture of how many Dopey made in a weekend by herself. I was like, yeah, you don't want to flex, bro. Dopey just made you guys look horrible. <laughs> Dopey played like 30 something hours, 30 or 30 or 40 hours in like three days and just was rolling fields on Stone Valley, constantly just cutting, rolling, cutting, rolling, cutting, rolling, cutting, rolling, fertilizing. And dude, she... We, I'm okay. You know, Stone Valley, you know where the house is, and it goes all the way down that road next to the farm. And then you see the intersection, and there's that pig farm at the end. Dopey had a double row of silage bales all the way down that road, stacked all the way down as tight as we could stack them. She literally didn't come to bed for like three days, dude. If she did, she was like dreaming about farm sim in her sleep. Yeah, she, she went hard, dude. We went hard on farm sim, man. We played our... Sh we, we have the farm sim series in the... We have most of the streams in um, the uh, members only videos. And uh, they were when we were on Twitch. We played 300 hours. Me and Dobie played 300 hours in a month on hard, hard modes, uh, farm sim survival, uh, Western Wilds. Not like I'm doing now, but we did it on there. We weren't allowed to really use any mods for a while until we unlocked the ability to use mods. I had to load all my pallets by hand and we ended up making, we ended up buying almost all of Western wilds and converting it and stuff like that. And we didn't use any of the nuggets or anything like that. Even, even the alien gym, the creator of uh, Western wilds was like, holy shit, dudes, you guys played my map the way it was meant to be played. <laughs> like, holy shit, dude. Yeah. Get some. You want more VR sim games? Not really. I'm not for me. I'm not really a VR fan. I'm not really a VR fan. Only when it comes to like racing games. Oh, I love racing games. Or fighter pilot. Oh, fight flying games. Oh yeah, VR, for sure. That's about the only things I like them in. But then again, I don't think I could really sit and play American Trucking Simulator with a VR on because it's just like. I like racing games when it comes to that stuff. Fast pace. You know what I mean? Like, hell yeah. Go. And now I can't stand to look at farm sim. Yep. Literally 12 IRL, IRL days spent in a month. Yeah. And we streamed every minute of it too. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start to slow this down here, guys, because it is getting that time. I was, uh, I extended my stream last night a little bit too far and had to push myself to that limit here. Take a look here. Let me do a rundown of what we did for the day. Jump in here. This made a shitload of progress today. Drone. I'll drop an export here. Make sure I do my 
uh, do due diligence here on making sure that I end the streams properly. Let's export. Nothing if not dedicated. Yeah, it was uh, pinch pretty hard. I don't I don't play that hard anymore because I got a full time job now. So, like that's why I have to end the stream right now. Like getting close to ending it. So, kind of roll down. We'll go take a look and see everything. Everything I got saved up and take a look at the cut progress. Well, obviously you can see it. That was an absolute insane. I will be finishing this cut tomorrow, and probably prepping in for the rest of it. Uh, for the next bench that we're gonna, I'm gonna put in, right? So, yep, sir, one down. But uh, tonight I will have this time lapse put out. Before I take off for work, I'll be in Discord here for a little while, hanging out and chatting for a little bit while I'm editing the video. That, or and then we'll go, we'll go look at the funds here before I jump off. Because I know a lot of you guys want to see kind of what we're up to a little bit. Let's do on the stage at 10. <laughs> yeah, dude, I gotta I gotta go uh gotta go to my go to the strip club job, you know. Eh. Yeah, okay, that's safe. Let's go and drop a save. Save for good luck, you know. Yeah, a couple more hours we'll finish this bench off. And that should give me more than enough um to start pumping out the uh the gold bars. I've just been stocking pay for two weeks now. I think if I continue doing this until I hit bedrock, I think we're gonna be in good position to make a massive swing on this this uh this project. Okay. Go ahead and uh jump up to the top here. Actually, you know what? Let's see what we have in this box here. I did put away all the other stuff, so Yeah, that's still going up. Grab some of this out of here. It's right there. Truck. Hammer out of my hand. Boys, look at that. How's of gold bar? Right there. Oh, hey, look. Another. And another one. Man, it's some cash today all over the last couple of days, man. Been pouring it down. That's almost three million right there. Good lordy, man. That is insane. And we're still got more in here being processed. Let's take a look. Fill these up here real quick before the end of stream. These. Cracking. Yeah, I think it's like one point something. Take a look here. Point four million or something like that. Back. Dump some more gold in here. We got some other things we got to smell too. Just gold too, right? So. 
these all filled up so I don't gotta do it tomorrow. are all smashed out that's what i produced between yesterday and today and smelted it all so we put some more thing but i still got the silicon is there a use for cut ruby no and no not for cut i mean not for there's no use for them so you just cut them to make more money uh, i do have to cut all those i have to cut my rubies and i can actually start um doing the silicon as well too stuff like that so after tomorrow i might i might leave the game off for a little bit tonight just to craft off the rest of the uh stuff that i have in the hoppers or the uh the things I might do that let's put this block there another set more uh so rubies i'm like damn near get close to um nine 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 Filling up this uh, this thing here. Let's pull some of this out. Put them into the box so I can get some room here. There. Now let's just put these put these. up in my inventory here. Yeah, let's just get these out of here. Yeah. And then I can take my gold bars and come up here. Some steel here still. Hole in here. So I have some iron, but I have a wicked amount of coal, and I don't have a lot of. Do you need to start smelting down some steel to finish my building skin? Okay, so three, six, nine, say ten. Definitely over 10 million for sure. 100% over 10. Million. It's rough. Yeah, we're like, we're probably around 12, maybe 12 million. Wait, Matthew said he didn't pay this month, so he needs to be banned. Little chip of deals. Yeah, let's go take a look at the, uh, the pay dirt that I have stockpiled now too. Probably not much because I was cracking that off here today as well, so. Okay, we got quite a pay dirt. This is like at least two days of running. So in eight hours, I'll probably smash you about half this to fill those up. So five hours, I'll probably have about 10 hours of running here. Pay dirt to feed into those. Nice. Okay. That's not looking too bad, guys. Not looking too bad. Let's hop into a drone real quick. Take a look at everything. Can I give a little bit of a survey? Act in. Well, I pushed all the way along the road. Same. We got that little access area. I'm going to take the dozer tomorrow and kind of flatten that area out a little bit. But that means that 
You know what I get to do tomorrow? The blast. I get to blast out a whole nother rim section. Like this. And I need to drop it down a whole nother area. Until we see pay dirt. I need, I need to define a new cut line. Until I get down to... Here. So the cut has to go down this much further. So I'm still looking, yeah, I'm still looking two more cuts, maybe three. Depends on how deep I make the cuts. I'm looking probably three more cuts all the way down. All right, so easy three, easy three. I say the first cut's going to be one more cut, so we're going to come down to like here, like one. Go down. Looking like two. Yeah, I'm looking three cuts to get all the way down to here. Looking for like three more cuts. Easy. Three more cuts. Three more benches coming down. All the way around the dish. I still got to do that over there too. I still got to do that area over there in that section. So... Holy cow, bros. It's been crazy. You guys know what's up. It's been crazy. You guys have been badasses. I appreciate your guys' uh, patience for the save. Coming in and watching today. Relaxing. Smashing that like button. 131 likes. 10 new members. And uh, $4 chat revenue. Appreciate that, dudes. Donations. You guys are absolute beasts. I appreciate you guys over on Prime. Over on Twitch. Given the Primes. There we go. Say that 10 times fast, right? But uh, we got to find someone to raid here. So let me let me see who's, go, who's going down. Let me take a look here real quick. I'll be back tomorrow. Hopefully on time. I don't get distracted. Found it today. Definitely going to try to watch another. Well, I'm definitely hope to see you watching again. So I got to take off right now. Take off and, you know. Looking through the list of uh, people playing. down over this guy all right guys i'll touch you guys later see you guys tomorrow and uh happy digging on your guys minds hope you guys made a bunch of progress i will catch you guys later peace out dudes